Rage, 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 rage. There you go. What, what the hell is that? What okay. is that thing? It's roiling shadows. Yeah, that's, All right, everyone, that's, make stealth checks. That is absolutely roiling. You've nailed that. The silence is deafening. The silence is deafening. Hello, everybody. Welcome to tonight's D&D game. I hope you're very, you're all excited and look forward to the spookums. <laughs> First, I should introduce Caitlin. How's it going? I'm Caitlin, and I'm a voice lady, and also a streamer lady, and I know Remy because he's a cool DM guy. And I'm ready to play some D&D. My character's name is Desdemona Teagarden, and she's like a goth gnome. Hell yeah. I like how you like immediately like sunk into that character. It was nice. <laughs> yeah. I also have joining me, Ian. How's it going? I'm doing very well. It's good to be here. This is going to be very, very fun. I'm excited and nervous in equal measure. I'll be playing Art Morthos, Tiefling Bard. Yeah. Very, very nice. I also have joining me, and I'm very excited, Cole. Haven't seen you in a long time. How's it going? Oh, you know, it's going pretty great. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Cole, and I'm here to play some Dungeons & Dragons uh, with my friends. Um, I'm also <laughs> a voice person, but uh, that's not terribly important for the purposes of this exercise. For tonight, I am playing Haber Dash Ulrich. I'm a dwarf detective. I was a ranger for a time, but now I've, uh, I've transitioned into the much more luxurious and uh, more exciting world of detecting magics and whatnot. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cole. We also have uh, joining us, Bill. How's it going? Hi. It's going good. I am Bill, also voice person, sensing a theme here. <laughs> and this evening, I'll be playing Duckington Bubblefizz. He's a halfling bard, he knows a tune, a tale, and he loves mysteries. Nice. You also stream, Bill, yeah? I do from time to time. From time to time. Occasionally, <laughs> uh, once when I feel like it in a blue moon. Also, I also shout out in chat. You guys know Caitlin. She also streams and does wonderful things. So you guys should follow her on Twitch as well. I'm like totally also a variety streamer who's like, <laughs> oh no, guys, I had to work late, so I can't stream tonight. I'm sorry. Yeah, her schedule is like solid, like on, written on slats of stone. It never bread. changes. Written on bread. <laughs> White bread. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious bread. <laughs> All right. Well, let me introduce to you guys what we will be doing tonight. Hello and good evening, everyone. I would invite you to ensure that you have headphones, that you are in a quiet and dark environment, blankies or comfy hoodies as needed, get your snacks, plenty of water, and prepare for us to weave you a spooky tale. A fresh mid-autumn, four days shy of a full moon, you lost your way in the dense woodlands, not arriving at your destination until late evening. A secluded place, a lone darkwood structure on an old slate foundation in an otherwise uninhabited region. The mansion of the late Theodore Rathmore, where he lived a secretive life with his servants. With no family, descendants, or will to pass on his property, the nearby county took possessions of the land and sent an appraiser to evaluate his assets. But the appraiser never returned. No servants were ever heard of again, and the neighboring townsfolk speak of grim stories and even darker rumors. That is where you four come in, sent to investigate, solve the mysteries, and unfold the stories of those who used to live there, and maybe get rid of whatever could be squatting there. You hear, first with your heart, then through your feet, the deep and heavy ticking of a grandfather clock. A sense of urgency washes over you. The mansion creaks and stirs under the pressure of the cold seasonal winds. The floor is yours. Well, I can see why the appraiser never would have left. What a lovely place. I might 
stride confidently toward the door and give three sharp raps. You want to knock on the door? Yes, three brisk, sharp raps on the door. All right, you knock on the door and you hear your knocking echo within the mansion. You pause, there's no response. All right, well, uh, looks like there is some something afoot uh, inside this house. I think that uh, getting inside is most uh, is, uh, our finest strategy. Uh, I will have a look at the, the lock and handle. Yeah, do an investigation check. Oh, I got 21. You investigate the door. You go, hmm, yes, yeah, very perplexing. It seems to be unlocked. Oh. <laughs> I, shall I say stride, the big man goes in. <laughs> I shall stride confidently four paces inside. Hello? As you enter, the spectral figure of a maid greets you with a simple curtsy. Eyes sunken deep in a pale visage, she forces a restless smile. My lord, we will not be accepting visitors at the moment. You should return to where you came from. We are terribly sorry to inconvenience you, madam. However, we have traveled quite a ways, and as the fog has now rolled in, would it be entirely out of the question for us to perhaps rest indoors while we wait for the weather or perhaps the evening to pass? That is uh, truly uh, unfortunate. I'm sure the Lord would love the company, but I don't think it's a good idea right now, unfortunately. Maybe you should set camp in the forest. Madam, are you aware that both, it appears that both you and your Lord um, have expired and ceased to be? The Lord means well. He's a good man, deep down. You should leave us be happy in peace. Oh, well, when somebody says that uh, somebody's a good man and they mean mean well, and uh, that's probably completely accurate. I'm sure there's no nefarious, uh, nefarious uh, subtext to that. So we should probably go home. Now, we've been, we've been duly deputized. I appreciate what you're saying, Dr. Uh, but uh, we have been duly deputized to uh, track down a, a, a man, or, or a person rather, who went missing in this very house. Uh, this stop by to appraise said house. Tell me, have you received any other visitors in, uh, let's say, the previous uh, fortnight? The maid pauses, and she, like, grabs her face and just goes, Uh, no, there's been no other visitors. Uh, can, 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 uh, I, I would like to use my uh, my detective insight to to uh, see not only I, I do suspect she's lying, but I would like to detect see if I could detect any sort of nefarious sort of uh, 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 timbre to her voice. Go ahead, roll with advantage. Be insightful. Thank you, Christian. With advantage. Yeah, thank you, Christian. Uh, that's an eighteen. Eighteen. Very very well. As you you like look deeply like into her eyes there's this like moment of recognition when she feels like you're not really buying it her, her shoulders like relax and her visage saddens she's not very much still like portraying herself as like greetings uh, she, she's very much there's despair in her eyes she has been just reciting what she's been told to say, but she does not look happy to be here. And if there is one truth to what she says, is that she certainly hopes that you don't get stuck here like she is. Um, and as you two uh, have like this like moment of understanding that she she's just doing what she's told, and th there's this like uh, danger that seems she seems to be worried about like if she strays too far something bad might happen to her um, there's like this moment where you like understand each other just like through a glance and she closes her eyes and she disappears awesome well wow. yeah. you have seen through uh, her her facade uh, and you, you have seen like the softer person that she is uh, and seeing that uh, she can no longer keep you at bay uh, maybe you will be able to help uh, or do something about the situation here let's split up no I'm kidding um, <laughs> <laughs> no. um. guys I think we need a little bit of light in here I'm gonna produce flame alright start investigating Rose. Well lit, Desdemona. I shall stride toward the foot of the stair, glancing you upward. You stride everywhere. 
I do. Great. Um, all right, I will pop this door open and, uh, and continue on with just a minute. Uh, uh, do stay close with that flame, though. That feels quite nice. You got it, Abby. I believe I shall join my associates in the recently untombed room. You better be striding if you're not striding in. Uh... Oh, confidently strode. All right, haberdash. Yes. As you enter, it looks like an art room. The room is cold and humid. Implements of all kinds, assorted art pieces, ritual tools, complex contraptions, and exotic artifacts are strewn about with a little cohesion or organizing. As you enter, you hear the distant sounds of rhythmic drums, omnidirectionally soaking the air with their entrancing patterns. You mentioned that there were magical type artifacts in the room. I said exotic, but sure. <laughs> oh. May I waddle over to them and make a history check to see if I know anything about them? Eh. Okay. 24. Jeez. Looking at these objects. You find a few things of interest. On the wall, a wooden mask with like feathers on its side, like has an importance uh, in the room. Mm. Uh, you also find two machined silver rings, a kashaka, which is an instrument, a pair of silver shears, a brass amulet, a bone and obsidian knife, a pair of leather goggles, and ceremonial leather bracers. Oh, there's a lot of ritual stuff in here. But as you're like looking over the artifacts, the mask is giving off this like passive sense of resentment anger and the air around it is uncomfortable uh i would like to detect magic on that mask i think yes i shall stride into the room <laughs> <laughs> as oh, duckington right. casts uh, detect magic the outline of a man appears next to the mask he seems to be like he's very broad shouldered he seems to be holding like a ghostly spear bare chested uh, but he has like a. Keep talking. Nice. Uh, <laughs> both of you. Uh, what is that called? You know, like just oh. like a loincloth. Um, Where's he? Yeah, Where's he holding the yeah, staff? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Seems <laughs> he's stroking the staff. You you immediately get a a very antagonizing uh, look as you like kind of like intercept. He like looks at you in the same way, but like there doesn't seem to be anything he can do. Well, we got some weird stuff over here. There's like some rings and amulets, some sort of I don't know music thing. Bar. Can we you still hear? That? Can we still hear the drums? Yeah, it's like ever so present, like through the wood, like in the house, and it seems to be just in this room, but it seems to okay. be coming from very far away. I can play the drum. Uh, does that help me in any way? Is it <laughs> like music or a style that I know? Sure. Make a perform performance check as you pull out your All drum. All right. <laughs> um, I mean, actually, uh, yeah, it was a one. Yeah, that's a natural one. So um, no, you do, My... <laughs> you do like a little like, but up, up, but up, which he seems to find extremely offensive to his culture. <laughs> Might I leap to my bardic colleague's aid and attempt uh, a, a perhaps more <laughs> respectful drumbeat? Perhaps Please, if you would stride table? over here and say. <laughs> Quite confidently, I will say. Uh, uh, you, you guess as to like where that person is, as only Duckington can, <laughs> can see them. I get from Caitlin's reaction, it wasn't a good roll. I regretfully also roll a natural one. <laughs> wow! Sharp Shadow cursed yeah, everyone over here. Our own shoelaces. <laughs> How did you do that, Sharp Shadow? <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> I am afraid my syncopation was not up to par. Uh, his not, frustration not grows uh, ever so deeply. Oh dear. I will go and look at his stuff with Disney Muna. Now, uh, perhaps one of you fine mu musicians would like to take a stab at playing this fancy instrument uh, of some kind. Perhaps he might enjoy that. Yeah, we've Better had such good drums. luck so far. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps you're better playing this, uh, what was it, a hurdy-gurdy or one, one, one of those? A kashaka. You can swing them uh, like around in your hand and it makes like this like dual beat. Ah, now, 
without uh, without tempting fate too much, it seems like either of you couldn't possibly fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now is this another performance check or a It is a performance check, check and oh, you right. are blessed, so you have advantage. Oh, okay. That's better. Uh, 20. Oh, very good. Uh, the Kashakas are often seen as like toys. Uh, they're like, it's like the equivalent essentially of like playing the triangle in a lot of, uh, um, in a lot of places. Like it's, it's given to kids. Kids love that uh, stuff, but it is also used ritually because of its like rhythmic uh, nature. Like one person can have like two and make four different rhythms if they're very, very talented. You catch it like quite quickly and you, you start playing and Duckington, you see the, uh, the very, very tall man. You see he, he like, is knocking his ghostly spear uh, against the ground, but, like, no sound is coming from him. He doesn't seem, like, happy, but he seems to be, like, there's a certain uh, amount of respect uh, that is coming from uh, the, the, the well-made performance. All right, I tell everybody what he's doing. Uh, he's, uh, he's not smiling, um, but he's no, he doesn't seem to be angry at me anymore. <laughs> That's good. Well, that's something, isn't it? Yes, we've uh, we've we've made some progress. You've bonded. I like pick up the am the bronze amulet, mm -hmm. and I look at it closer. Is yeah. there anything like inscribed on it, or like anything like that? Yeah, uh, it seems to be. Uh, make a <laughs> make an investigation check at disadvantage, thanks to Sharp Shadow. <laughs> How could you, Sharp Shadow? <laughs> Six. Six. Um, it seems to be a very nicely, like, very nicely made, nicely machined, nicely forged uh, amulet. Um, like, it seems to be of a modern make, and it, it must be uh, worth quite a bit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hmm. I'm not robbing the place yet, guys. Come on. Hmm. Of, now, uh, 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 of the items that were mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. do most of them seem to? Um, uh, do most of them uh, seem to have uh, common uh, ages amongst them? Or, or is like the amulet rather modern and then the, the goggles are rather uh, ancient, uh, the, uh, et cetera, et cetera? V very good question. Uh, roll an investigation check. Very good. Ah, wonderful. That's uh, crap. Uh, 13. <laughs> 13. Lucky for some. 13. Um, there is a pattern within all those objects. The carved wooden mask seems to be uh, tribal, and they they do seem to be quite old, uh, like they were like from an older tribe, and they were like dug up. Um, so there is the carved wooden mask, uh, seems to be uh, like one of those objects. Uh, the two machine silver rings seem to be quite modern. The kashakas are again, it's a, it's an old traditional instrument. Um, there is a pair of steel shears that don't seem too old. They seem to be machined as well. The brass amulet also seems to be quite modern and quite nice. Uh, there's a bone and obsidian knife, which seems to be quite old. There is a pair of leather goggles, and as you know, well, glass is quite modern. And there is a pair of ceremonial leather bracers, which are the leather is uh, cracked and seems to also be old. Do we gotta like dress up this guy for battle? Put on his bracers, play oh, his music, give him his bone. Idea. It's a fine idea. Let's uh, let, let's try first with the uh, with the with the cracked gauntlets. Uh, let's not try first with the uh, with the knife. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> yes, we wouldn't want to give him the wrong idea. <laughs> exactly. He already has a ghost spear, and he seems raring to use it. Yeah, I already tried that. He didn't take well to it. So, how what would, objects how one, do you grab? How would one dress a ghost? Yeah. We simply lay them on the floor. Tell and me what we, you guys do. <laughs> let's present him the bracers. Yes. yes. I lift the bracers. You hold him up. I'll tell you what he does. In my non-fire hand, and I bring them to where I think he's standing, based on duck. A little, a little <laughs> bit to the left. Thanks. <laughs> All and right. I'm like, yo, you like this, bro? <laughs> you have a flamethrower in one hand and like bracers in the other. Uh, and you walk forward and you like you're holding the bracers which uh, Duckington you immediately notice he seems to like stiffen up as she holds the bracers but as she walks towards him and like presents them uh, he, he like extends like a hand that like doesn't interact with the because it's incorporeal it, inter it like goes like through the bracers and there's this like pause like he's expecting more 
Oh, okay, Desi, he got stiff for a second, but that went away. <laughs> um, and then you held them out, Sorry and it looks life. like he wants <laughs> he wants more. Um, <laughs> So do we, have like a, do we have like a do we have a gruel goblet? Because this Oliver son of a bitch wants more. Um, <laughs> all right, go get the other things. Yeah, there. grab his other stuff. The old, only the old stuff, not yes. the new stuff. Yes, perhaps I sh I shall uh, bef before lifting. Perhaps I I can examine while lifting the the tribal mask. I did attend the the Bardic College of Law, so mm. it was just an undergraduate. However, oh, I well, you never let us forget it, do you, Al? <laughs> It is an audition-based program. <laughs> okay, you go grab the mask, you say? Guys, yes. we fight about this every day. Yeah, you, you grab the mask, and uh, Duckington, you, you notice uh, the, the, the man with the spear again turns towards, uh, turns towards Art. Uh, but he, he doesn't seem, like, particularly happy. He seems to respond very much, like, very intensely. But he, he seems to be, like... Like, what are you guys doing with those things? Like, he seems very curious as to what you're planning. Mm. Okay. Uh, he's not sure what we're doing, uh, which makes five of us. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, six maybe, actually like, makes six of us. The room. Maybe this stuff is supposed to go somewhere. Like, what are we trying to accomplish here with Mr. Ghostman? Is, have, ha, yeah. ha, have we seen the entire room? Is there perhaps a, a mannequin we could yes, be dressing? Yes, there a secret mannequin. <laughs> Uh, you What's look around, uh, and you figure a mannequin, it would be hard to hide a mannequin in here. There is no mannequin. Perhaps one of us is to be the mannequin. <laughs> oh, I don't like that idea. Oh. I don't care for that. Well, the only person here who's tall enough would be Art. Oh, come on. Why is it oh, always turn, the Actually, one? I've changed my mind. Turns out it's a great idea. Uh, <laughs> try, the ma try the mask on, Art. Somebody stop you. Art, put the mask on. Where are you holding it? <sighs> If I should perish, you'd best sing songs of my bravery. Yeah, yeah. And Careful with that fire or art will be smoking. Yes, well, ensure that Duckington is not allowed to play drums at my funeral. Oh, guys. And that hurts. That hurts, man. <laughs> Caitlin, don't spoil it. <laughs> okay. Let me... I confidently don the mask. I, I hand you the bracers. Okay, you put on the mask, you put on the bracers. Now um, someone get him that bone. <laughs> As Art puts on the the the, the gear, the, the implements, um, the ghost is fuming. He seems so angry and offended. Hey, uh, uh, yeah, um, and he's uh, shaking. Is is he happy? Uh yeah, he's real happy. <laughs> is this good? Uh, um uh, take take it off. Uh, just you know, like real uh, casual, like take take the, take the stuff off. Happy to take it off. Haberdash. Yes. Yes. Control Could you it. for me do a perception check? Happily. Uh, Twenty one. Jeez, you I notice see. on the um, the little pedestal right next to you. Yes. There are uh, ceremonial dwarven tools. Wow. Fantastic, my people. Um, but uh, you know that uh, Theodore Rathmore was not a dwarf, and it is seen as not like sacrilegious, but it, it like those must have been stolen. Yes. The, like the, to find them above ground and in this like art display is very offensive. Oh, mm. I get it. Well, I wish you'd share it with us then. <laughs> <laughs> I bet this dude is like a ghost that the house owner stole this stuff from and his like soul can't be free because all his junk is trapped in this art room. My gods. Well, we did um, try to give him back his stuff and he was uh, he was uh, rather... He wasn't I mean, there. we sort of did uh, and he was confused and then Art put it on like it was his. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, we have treated this like some sort of bizarre birthday party. Well, why don't we just give him all of his stuff or whatever? Do we know enough history about this particular gentleman to know how to say sorry? Let me look words? at him and get his history. You he can't look, he can't see butt. him. You can't see him. I'll uh, describe but, him to you. Um, but, he's a big, sexy man. Caitlin. Big, sexy man. Uh, six feet tall, spear, uh, uh -huh. shirtless, broad yeah. shoulders, okay. really just chiseled chest, Into uh, loincloth. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. I like it. From, good time. Does from that looking help at, at all? the... You had a, earlier, you had a 24 
history check, yes? Yeah, I'm good. The items that, like, you've noticed uh, before do seem to be uh, all... The, a common theme is that they are tribal. Uh, mm-hmm. So, like, they, they must have been uh, ah! local ah! or they, they belong in the forest. They are from a tribe! I believe we have ourselves a collector, ladies and gentlemen. So, I mean, these like, things belong in a museum. No, they belong the, with their The wait, ghost no, the opposite, turns the at, the, that, uh, at that saying and seems to be uh, frustrated ever, ever more. So, like, should we take this stuff out of the house? Would that make him happy? You Can we said? chuck it out the window? Let's uh, not chuck it out the window. Well, I guys. very much doubt that that's where he came from, out the window. I mean... To a certain extent and distance, he did. Well, so who did everyone, <laughs> by that metric? I mean, yeah, even we did. So if we throw it out, we're a step closer. Guys. Guys. I was, I was worried because you guys solved the first mystery so quickly. <laughs> no, we're fine. Oh, yeah, wait, don't worry about it. Wait, wait, we've solved the mystery already? <laughs> no, the mystery no, the first room. ignore her and walk by? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> no, the first mystery was to do an insight check. Ah, oh. we- that was the insight check. Yeah, yeah a very good one. On the uh, what did we what did we figure out? <laughs> but uh, she was being the, kept the, here against her will. Yeah, she didn't like it, and she was not telling the truth about the oh. master being good and nice. So let's. It occurs to me that if our first encounter was being kept here against their will, it would stand to reason that this character also is being kept here against theirs. And all we this know, stuff. We know it's stolen. a tribe. Does anyone have good? Religion check. Oh my gosh, yes, I do. I love that. Do you want to do jump. one of those in case it's like a religious tribe? And this okay, I'm gonna get religious-y. religious up in here. Ready? 20, not nat. Very good. Unfortunately, especially for like uh, in, in this like modern magical uh, era, it is unfortunately something that does happen where either like tombs are desecrated or burial grounds are desecrated uh, and things are taken away and like essentially like put on display which is like very disrespectful um i think it's the fact that these items are apart from each other uh, again as the room was very disorganized and not oh. categorized the items are all over the place um which okay. is okay Let's bring all of his stuff together. Get the bracers, get the other stuff. Let us play, place like with like. Old with old and new with new. Bracers, on the, on, maybe not the floor, um, on a table. Somebody bring the mask to the table. Who's got the other old thing? What was it? There are gone. An, an instrument. Yes, of course, the instrument. Okay. Yeah, the thing, the thing that I was the kachaska. Duckington, put that on the table with the bracers and the the mask and who's got the bone who's holding the bone thing i think, I think it's, it's still, still on the table yeah it's okay. still on the table we'll just get it all together we can put all that on the table together in a nice happy circle of love yeah, yeah arrange get the, it get, new, get that new shit out there get the new yeah. shit out there and the new shit can stay together over there yeah so new school table and an og table far out all right as uh you you put all the uh, items in one pile. The the, yeah. the items you mentioned. So the, you have the mask, the, the uh, mask, the, the bracers, bone, the shots, the amulet. Not the amulet. Nope. That's that's new. That's new. Okay. All right. Um, as you put all the items together, um, the man takes a knee. Uh, he touches his hand over the item pile. Um, he just bows down his head and he gives. A little glance to the side, but disappears. Okay, so happened, like, he Doc? got down on one knee, uh-huh. uh, and then he glanced, nice. and then uh, he like reached his hand out, and he disappeared. Oh. What well, you guys could not see, uh, other than Duckington, you guys couldn't see what he did, but everyone saw on the ground the items turn to dust. Oh, oh they were probably really valuable. Did he did seem they- mad at me? I mean, I think the last glance that he did was in your direction, and he was just like this. Stuff uh, and prick. Yes, I should not have worn the clothes. <laughs> yep, that was totally yeah. all on you. Uh, yeah. Nobody else told we you that you should do that. We definitely didn't encourage you to do that. No, yeah. <laughs> certainly not. The, uh, I mean, did Jesus, drum... Art, think. Just think next time, mate. Have the drums stopped? Yes, yeah. they have. Uh, Duckington, there... you're the only one who saw this, but in his last moments, he seemed to be at peace. 
Oh, he was oh. at peace, Art. He was at peace. He uh, was mad at you. He was mad at you, but he was at peace. So uh, I mean, look, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, you did you did fuck up, but well, it's all right. you asked me to. We're not going to. I was the only one. Let's just continue with the adventure, shall we? <laughs> okay. So, like, is Ooh, there another, another door. door in this room, yeah. or yes. is there only the one door? Uh, there is the door you came in, and then there's another door. Let's go to that other door. All right. That seems what? like an adventure door. Do you open the door? Yeah, I do. Yeah, can I kick it in, like, real, like, cool and dramatic? Do you want to like, kick, kick it in? Yeah, I'll let I you kick, kick it in. in. Come over Who? here and kick it in. I'd I wasn't so watching. Who, uh, Duckington wants to kick it in? Yeah, Duckington. I want to kick it in all, all dramatic, like, bam, I'm here. And, and while he's doing it, I want to go, Duckington, 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 all right. Duckington it do it. slams open. ka and You see what looks to be a dining room. I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess here, folks. I reckon there's going to be some floaty little ghost fireflies. I love that. <laughs> oh, look, hey. I guess let's go and light that place up. Yeah, right. with, with, with light, not, oh, not that's fire. Duckington. So as you enter uh, through this side of the room... Can we still hear the clock? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the ticking is actually getting louder. Oh, <laughs> like distractingly so, or...? Somewhat, as you're not used to having ticking inside your own head. I mean, no. Um, but, uh, Duckington, as you enter the room... I mean, art might. Stench precedes this grisly scene. Ooh. Sitting at a once lavish, now rotten banquet is the desiccated body of a man. Well-dressed in the wares of a distant land, a bottle of spilt wine has stained the tablecloth and onto him. Ah, that's what you see at first glance. And he, uh, I don't have a model for him, but he's right here. He's well, right I, here. I shall stride confidently up to him <laughs> and cast Speak with Dead. Whoa, very good. Yeah, because there's a body, so you can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you are on fire. You don't mind because you're a tiefling. Thanks, Desdemona. I'm uh, down with it. <laughs> down with it. Um, into it. Uh, I opened the door, let's not forget that. Yes, well <laughs> opened, Duckington. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the desiccated corpse, like, snaps and jostle, and the head, um, like, creaks, and, and, like, his feet, like, kind of rub uh, against the ground where there's, like, broken glass. Um, and he turns slowly towards you, Art. Hello. Hello. <laughs> no, he, he just he looks at you expectantly. Hello, my friend. How goes it? Let the questioning begin. Hello, my friend. Is this room encrypted in some way? In encrypted? Wait, hold on. This is Remy. What do you mean by encrypted? Is there some manner of puzzle to be solved in this room? his mouth like tries to open and then cracks open as like the dried skin on like the side of his lips just shatter open and now his like mouth is like widely uh, widely open and he lifts a, a dry finger and he dips it in the spilled wine uh, that's in front of him uh, and he writes out only truly lost once forgotten as if that's to indicate lot, that's, that's the puzzle. Wine. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, he just lost once wine. forgot. While you're while you're in the midst of detecting or talking to the daddy boy, mm -hmm. I would like to cast detect poison and disease on the wine. Mm -hmm. Well played, Desdemona. You cast detect a poison and disease on the wine, and it is indeed poisoned. Somebody got poisoned. This wine was poisoned. Uh, 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 can you can you ask the corpse? Yes. It's the mar is this is this Theodore? Well, is the is the corpse Theodore? Oh oh I see. My good uh, friend. Ask it ask it. I sh well if you'll let me I'll happily ask. My good friend pardon associate. Are you the Theodore we have? Oh God what was his last name? Rathmore. 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 Am I speaking to the remains? Of Theodore Atmore. 
uh, he's like dried skin, like stretches and, and like shears as he frowns and he like shakes his head no. It's gross, not. I love it. It's not Theodore. Okay. Ah, yes. Follow up question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know by whom you were poisoned? <laughs> he goes, Theodore. As the air just like starts escaping his lungs. So you can talk. <laughs> I hardly think that's. Oh, never. <laughs> Again, you you must pardon my halfling friend. <laughs> <laughs> What's your last question? Wait, no, that was free, right? Oh no, you he, he did ask oh, yeah. you how are you doing? <laughs> yeah. That was, decl- that was declarative. No, I was establishing the rule. <laughs> How you doing? Ah, oh, you know, just fucking dead. <laughs> okay, so we know that he was poisoned, and he was poisoned by Theodore. So, what's... The, there's... Ooh. Okay. Theodore, alive in this house. <laughs> it's like, you're not limited on words, you know? <laughs> well, I'm trying to be concise. He is dead. He looks puzzled as much as a desiccated corpse can look puzzled and he, he doesn't seem to know the answer to that uh, well we know I mean, that was, makes sense because he he got poisoned, poisoned and died well we know he's poisoned so let's look around the room and see if there's i guess like helping his soul find closure is like what the deal is yeah what's that only truly once lost forgotten only, only truly, truly lost, once forgotten. Uh, only truly lost, once forgotten. What would one forget? The peas. What? Oh, for the banquet? To dinner, you, yes. You fancy foppy bastard. I believe, well, I'm looking for theming. Okay, well, how about we look around the room, guys? May I investigate the bottle of wine on the table? You do that, haberdash. Get in there. I'm something of a connoisseur, sommelier. Don't drink it, please. Because <laughs> it is <I> poisoned. <laughs> yeah, uh, you sniff it. It seems to be not extremely fancy, but not a cheap wine. Uh, and it does, uh, as you smell it, um, yeah. Uh, you, you can't really smell the, the poison, but like you trust uh, Desdemona. Uh, it's just like a normal, like a wine from, it's a regional wine. Lovely. Right, well, uh, it's, a, it's a fine vintage. Uh, maybe something I would pair with a mutton. Uh, at any rate, uh, is there a uh, is there another bottle of wine uh, on the on the shelf uh, behind me? Yeah, th- there's like there's bottles of wine kind of everywhere on the banquet table. Right. So mm. yeah, you go like one by one. You go looking through. Yes. Are, are, are any of them different, or do they do any of them stand out in any way? They're all different. Uh, they. Ah. Um, like they, they seem to be. Co- There's a few that are regional, and they're all n- like on the the end of the table where the corpse is. All the regional ones, um, and all the other ones seem to be like coming from like, they, like it's not uncommon. It's like written in like exotic languages. Uh, There's like a, a, a there's a dwarvish ale, um, and like there's, there's like a gnomish wine, and there's like it seems to be coming from everywhere um are all the bot are all the regional bottles from a specific region or all over Re- regional that means they're, they're from here so they're all from here oh they're all from here yeah okay so all of these are local wines yeah local yeah mm-hmm. are they all different local wines or are they all the same brands there's like three different uh bottles that come from three different local vineyards can i read so- their labels yeah. Not only was Teddy a murderer, but he was also cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery solved. As you look at the wine and sniff the wine, the ticking gets much, much louder. Yeah. You hear that? <laughs> yeah, I yes, hear it too. The grandfather clock rings 3 a.m. So... God. As we take a small pause in the game, something stirs within the house. Oh, man. Oh. Chat has the option to influence in which way the energy of the house pulls. Well, as I think I know the which way they're going to make it go. <laughs> Desdemona 
the flame you are holding becomes dimmer and the Uh-oh. room darkens. It doesn't go out, but it grows dimmer. Good thing. <laughs> yeah. We all have dark vision, I guess. Oh, dear. Oh, sorry, oh come on. Oh, oh, that is not the room right behind us. Why would you do that? That yeah. is below Maybe the Maybe that's a good thing. Thank you. Thank Maybe you, Domo. Maybe we already solved that. <laughs> be a good thing. Well, one can only hope. It also means we might be trapped. We might need to barricade the door. At least there's lots of poison wine. <laughs> okay, like, I think this might... We should search the room, but I feel like this has something to do with the wine. Yes. Might I move to the far end of the room? Yes, one moment. And I, I, I would also like to do a cursory medical check to see how old this corpse is. Very good. Okay, keep all, keep all of that in your head. I'm just going to run the... Uh, as I run the poll, I think people are done voting, so I will close the poll. All right. The arts room won with eight votes. Wow. Bloody hell. You bastards. Wait while I fix the problem. There's a problem? Perhaps. He means. Oh, oh Caitlin, that's cheating. Oh, come on. You didn't say I could. Wait, wait, wait. Off, wait. Kaiser and Sharp Shadow, I believe you have uh, mod powers. So you oh. can actually refund this. <laughs> Was it like going to be a medicine check on the man? Yes, medicine. I would like to investigate and see how decayed this decayed corpse is. While you look at the corpse, right above your head, there's. <laughs> Two footsteps. The floor or the ceiling right now creaks heavily, and there's a shuffle. There's something moving upstairs. Did anybody else hear that incredibly ominous noise? This is because you were like wearing the bad outfits, wasn't it? Art? Let's split up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, All right. uh, Haberdash, yes. can you do a medicine check at advantage if you haven't already? Thank goodness. I was hoping you'd say advantage. Ah, uh, yes, uh, that's 18. 18? Yes. The corpse, as much as it looks very, very old, um, is actually not that old. Uh, maybe like a few weeks, and oh. um, <gasps> it doesn't seem to have rot because uh, the moisture seems to have been sucked out of the body. Uh, and there's something about the poison of the wine that seems to like um, dry out the person, and they they die of dehydration extremely quickly. Is is this corpse uh, dressed? Is it clothed? Uh, Very specifically. Uh, can, can, can I can I search its pockets for perhaps a uh, for uh, any missives? Yes. Uh, Does it have make a an investigation skull? check. Investigation. I wonder if one of my has... finest qualities. Thirteen. We should have got art to do this desiccating corpses and putting <laughs> on uh, and putting on uh, old corpse artifacts is kind of his thing. Sorry to step <laughs> on your toes, art. That one again. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to stride in front of you. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. As you pull uh, some of the papers, they do seem to be in another language. Uh, so you you can't understand what they're saying. Um, it's not common, it's not like a normal language, it seems to be coming from very far away, but you get the sense that um, he was a diplomat. Is it possible that my Comprehend Languages spell would uh, enlighten us? Very much, that's... You guys are equipped for mystery solving? Like, there's like, it's no one's business, all right. You cast... It's not Minotaur, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I think we put everything into whiz and int for this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you cast Comprehend Language? Yeah. At this moment, you look through the papers. Uh, I'm going to ask you to do a history check, and thanks to Sharp Shadow, at advantage. Whew. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> it's not a very good roll. <laughs> oh, don't beat yourself up. So I can comprehend the language. Yeah, you can I'm read. Shit at history. He seemed to have been, so he was a diplomat on a mission to establish relations uh, with this uh, man, Theodore. Um, he, like, you, you know what, like, far away land he came from. Um, and something, there's just something about his name that just sounds oh familiar. And you can't quite put your finger on it. But you've Can heard... I say the name to my compatriots? Yeah. It seems... It seems very familiar. Like, you, you just heard that recently, and you can't quite put your finger on it. Oh, yeah, and you, you, you tell the others, um, and you guys can also make checks if you want. I'd love it if you would. 
Yes, then, his name was uh, Seymour. Then I'm going to do a history check on Seymour to see if I find that name familiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm looking for a Seymour. Seymour Butts. <laughs> I got 24. Jeez! Um, so, Desdemona, you remember clearly. Oh, yeah! It was in the papers. There was a man, a, a diplomat, who went missing. And no one knows what happened to him. Some people thought he ran away, or maybe he took an offer, like the money from Theodore, and like ran away with it. Uh, but no one knows or remembers what happened to him. And as the um, corpse is just laying there in its spilled wine, you feel a presence next to you. Just like somewhat like cold and like a brushing on your shoulder. But we remember him. Yeah, we remember. He's not lost. And the little lights disappear. Ah! (laughs) Yay, Seymour! Yeah, (laughs) get the fuck out of here, ghost. (laughs) All right, let's not go back into the art room and instead find another door. I am rather curious to see what is upstairs. Yes. Uh, As you say this, the footsteps seem to have been uh, going towards like upstairs in a circle. You heard like a grinding of wood and like the footsteps are like going around. And as you uh, finish like talking about uh, the diplomat, you hear the stairs creak. Uh-oh. Uh, how brave do we feel? Well, I mean, we've dealt with three ghosts now, so. I don't know, 8 out of 10? I am going to... I mean, free ghosts, but free ghosts that didn't touch anything or make floors I'd like creep. to remind the group that we're a bunch of nerds, and he has good strengths or decks. So. I mean, I have a sword, but I don't think it'll do much good in here. Yeah. I mean, I've got 13 strength. It's not terrible. You've been working out, bro? <laughs> yeah, I've been hitting the gym. I am going it's, it's to a guy named Jim. It's a guy named Jim. With uh, with, 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 with with everyone's uh, with everyone's willingness, I would I would like to cast Pass Without a Trace upon all of us, and then we can go sneak ah. up and see what is creeping down the stairs. I like the cut of your Jim Haberdash. Ah, oh, Haberdash, you know all the cool tricks. Okay, you cast Pass Without a Trace, which uh, gives everyone in your party plus ten to stealth. That is wow. a must. Oh. Tell everybody to shut the fuck up. Shut up. Now. Do y'all want to do a stealth check? Yeah, yeah, we might as well now. I shall stop idly playing my loot. Now would be a perfect time to curse, guys. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Maybe not necessary. Uh, I rolled a four. I guess I don't stop idly no, playing my loot. No, plus ten. Plus, plus ten, ten. So, so fourteen. I, I, I mean, I also rolled a wait, four. Wait, wait. So oh my gosh, I also rolled a four. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pick. <laughs> Kaiser said, "Remy, no." Oh, come on, Kaiser, that was funny. Uh, but uh, Kaiser blessed one of you guys, so there was a few fours. Who would like to reroll? Um, oh, two of you can reroll. I mean, uh, wait, there's wait, two blesses in chat. First off, um, Haberdash, what did you roll? I rolled a very tasteful, dirty twenty. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Oh, look. All of you are blessed. Everyone who there's got... so many blessings yeah. coming in, definitely. <laughs> oh not wait, that was you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Some of them are legit. Cheater. Three of them are legit. Look, there's three legit ones there. <laughs> okay, okay. Bill doesn't get to re-roll, but... <laughs> oh, fuck. Ian and uh, uh, Art and Desdemona, you can re-roll. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I rolled 20 nat. I Natural rolled... 20? Not nat. Okay. And I have rolled a pumped-up 15. See, don't forget the <laughs> plus 10. <laughs> You have to include yeah, a plus ten. That is okay. Well, that's even possible. All right. You feel with the with the um, assistance of the spell, you feel somewhat confident as the the shadow embraces you. They seem to muffle your footsteps. The floor doesn't creak as much Ooh. under your weight, and you feel a little bit more safe. Get muffled. Also, the the creaks and the the footsteps and the 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 roaming seems to be very slow but okay. it is coming down the stairs okay so are there any other doors and is yes how many doors besides the one we came into there are two doors one on the left of the room and one on the right of the room and that's at the other end that you're currently 
Okay, I think the one on the left goes back out to that main room. Yeah. So that's probably where the scary death stairs are. So maybe we should go to the other one. Onto the right. Yeah. Perhaps to the, the kitchen or the pantry. Or like some sort of smoking lounge. Ooh. What do rich people have? I could they have all of those. Yes. Yeah. A walk-in humidor. They have a butler's kitchen. That's what rich people have. <laughs> Elevators that don't exist. Servants' quarters. Dumb waiters. A scullery. Oh, do they have a scullery? Tables. Why are we just playing Family Feud now? <laughs> the footsteps have reached the bottom of the staircase. Oh, we should we probably move. Uh, let's <laughs> open okay, that door. Guys, let's go through that other door. All right, you lead the charge, Desdemona. I lead that charge. I am a leading lady. <laughs> Tell my agent. What's well, the walking got, order? Who follows directly behind her? <laughs> yeah, I also have the fire, so follow. You through. guys stay behind. All right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Really? You just that's the one that goes alone? Okay. No, 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 no. Stay behind her. <laughs> stay behind her. Yeah. Oh, I, I said you guys stay behind, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think... uh, we have to test in case there's some non-poisoned wine here. I think they meant they'd stand behind my tiny. Behind you. Body. Okay, I understand. Okay, so you open that door. Open that. Open the door. Well, actually, the door opens this way. Should we perhaps bar the other door, lest something sneak up upon us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a kitchen. Let's go in. I see some glowy lights. All right. Fantastic. Desdemona. Oh, is it a kitchen or a scullery? My, uh, my you will, you will soon find out. How narratively satisfying. <laughs> God, I hope it's a scullery. Desdemona. Yeah. Entering the kitchen assaults your senses with an acrid smell and noxious fumes make your eyes water. I love it. I'm a swamp dwarf. <laughs> You're or not druid. a dwarf. <laughs> I'm a swamp druid. Um, the table in the center is filled with rotting fruits, veggies, meats, and dairy products of all kind. A vision of a rotund man enters your mind. He seems lost in worries. He glances at an old clock. Time is running out, yet he can't make his mind. He, lo he hovers over the table, but cannot pick between these wild and exotic ingredients. Oh, he forgot how to make his dinner. Guys, I'm, do you see that or is that just me? Oh, please don't need. crash. Oh my God. <laughs> The I... house has decided we are failures. Uh -uh. We do not. <laughs> oh no! It's one of those horror <sighs> games where part of the game. That's worse. It's Hold all on. planned, right, Remy? It's all planned. It appears that Remy's computer has rolled a natural one. I'm oh. running so many things at the same time. My CPU was like, "Please stop." Uh, I would like to point out that you are no longer stealth. <laughs> what? Why not? Because you're holding a candle. <laughs> and also a big ball of fire. Also a big ball of fire. Yeah, it's not just my candle. Let's, 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 you know, calm down with Hubbard the accusations. Dashed, there. You, you still have pass without a trace. So if they turn that off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, they still get, they, they would need to do another check. Okay, I'm yes, now restarting. The time okay. flows. Okay, let's find some spices, guys. We're back, guys. Okay, you just go looking around the, uh, the room. Yeah. Okay. Make a um, investigation check. What are you guys uh, doing? I'm searching for any sort of spicy bottles. Good God. Oh, wait. I got 15. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. Oh, oh, oh. Hold I, on. Oh. What's doing what? Who's doing what? Uh, I'm I'm looking uh, over near the grill uh, for spices. Okay, you're also looking for spices. How about you, Art? I'm also scanning the room for spices, but based on my role, I might have accidentally hid something. <laughs> okay. Um, my role was 20, not nat. Uh, roll again, because you have disadvantage. Oh! <laughs> nine. That's an investi investigation, yes? Yeah. Okay, nine. Uh, Duckington, roll investigation at disadvantage. Uh, oh, you know. all right, that was an eight. And then I roll again, take, take the lower one, right? Yeah. All right, that was We're 14, doing the curses, so, Sharp so Shadow, eight. there you go. <laughs> what did you get? Eight? I got 14 on the second one, so eight. Eight. All right. Uh, you look around the room. Uh, you do find some spices, uh, but they're extremely old and extremely stale, and they seem pretty common. You find some, some thyme and some 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 uh, 
Q yeah, but like the pun, like the pun that we made earlier, is it that he's looking for time? Yeah, you find time. Right, and so let us liberally season the. Yeah, let's food. chuck it in them plates. <laughs> okay, you you like you, you like open it and you start like, yeeting it around the room. Yeah, I do the oh, salt no, bait no, thing. Just salt give bay? it to the. Let's just give it to the the man who is a ghost. Ah. I do the salt bay thing into each little. <laughs> <laughs> into each one. Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. Yeah, you you you, you scatter the, the the time around. He doesn't the, the the apparition that you all see um doesn't really seem to know you guys are there. Oh. But our time is good, right? We've made great time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I have a 121 above me. <laughs> if only we had some place to go. Time is on our side. Okay, so he nine doesn't... saves time. Okay, so he doesn't know we're here, but we figured out the time pun, which I'm convinced Good job. is correct. <laughs> Good job. Um, we, we we get the impression that he that he's feeling harried about uh, about uh, something to do with with time, or or is he looking at this pile of rotten food rather distressedly? He's looking at the pile of food rather distressedly. Maybe we need to make him better food. Oh, cooking mini game. <laughs> 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 is there anybody in the party who has good insight? Uh, yeah. Desdemona's got you. You and Abadash have got, I've good, got insight. good insight. I've got good insight. What you need? Famously, can we discern from the ingredients, rotted as they are, what he was trying to make? Okay, let's do a re let's do a insidery check. No you got an insight to the apparition? No. No, oh. the ingredients. Can we? Can, are we able to figure <laughs> out what he was trying to make based on what's there? Yeah, but like you can't incite a Clementine. Like you have to incite him. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna oh, incite. Then, yeah. I'm gonna look at that apparition and incite the heck out of him. Ready? Yeah, to, to see where he was looking and to 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 know what he was trying to make. Yeah. Twelve. Did I miss a? I didn't miss a curse. Okay. Twelve. He seems very lost. Like he hasn't started. Um, he's just looking at the table. Like what the. F fuck am I going to do? So it's not clear. Oh, uh, I want to look in that little uh, chest of drawers over there. I want to see if he's lost a cookbook. Ah. Okay. Yeah. You open up the drawer that you find a lot of knives. Uh, it's some like utensils. Uh, it seems to be all cutlery. Okay. We have plenty of forks and knives, everybody. Relax. Oh, thank God. Um... What if... So he's looking at the table like he hasn't started yet, like he doesn't have enough time. And are the uh, ingredients cooked at all or are they just like, are they like food that's gone to waste or are they just rando ingredients? Uh, nothing seems prepared. So there's nothing chopped, there's nothing cooked, uh, there's nothing peeled. Uh, it okay, just seems well, to be random ingredients that are, uh, let's, they're completely rotten. Let's make him something. Somebody start peeling a rotten Let's something. Let's prepare a delicious meal. Somebody start chopping a rotten something, and somebody put a bowl on the stove, and can, we can start cooking something. Can we sign him up for Hello Fresh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and to answer further the question, there, there's nothing currently on the stove. So, like, it's not like you could add to what he was already doing. Okay, well, somebody get a pot on the stove. Did he? Did he lose? Did he maybe lose it, uh, like his knife, and that's why he didn't start? You grab a random knife and present it to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, if there's, like, a particularly chef-y looking knife in that drawer. Yes. Meat on place you, you present the best of the, the best looking knife you can find. Yeah. And, uh, as I mentioned earlier, he doesn't seem to know you're there. Yeah, yeah, but if I just put it there, will he maybe notice the knife and then he's like, Oh, that's where I left it. It's right there. Yeah, he doesn't seem to notice. You, you wait Damn. for a moment or two to pass, and yeah. Well, I'm out of ideas. I walk over and I pick up some of the ingredients that are on the table. Yeah, at random. Yeah, you, you pick up a few of the ingredients, um, and as the you shift the ingredients about, he stops, pauses, thinks. He just shakes his head like, "Ugh, that's not it." He keeps okay, looking. Okay, let's. Okay, can I look at the ingredients? Any of them look familiar to me? Is there a clementine among them? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, it is rotten. Uh, they seem to be quite uh, exotic. Uh, there, there's like a lot of fruits, a lot of meat, a lot of vegetables, some dairy products, which smell sp especially foul. Um, but you, you, you recognize quite a few uh, of them. Uh, as a lot of the things in this house, there seems to be a lot of imported um, veggies and, and fruits and things of the sort. 
I have an idea. <clears throat> yeah. Are any of the ingredients, the exotic ingredients, are they any of them from the region that Seymour is from? Uh, yes. Well, actually, you, I, I don't know if you would know that. You might need to do a check. Uh, let's all d do a check. Uh, where is Seymour from? Where, what would that be? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Oh, you, right, so you know where Seymour is from, yes. I did a big history check, so we yes. know where Seymour is from. Yeah. So now let's see if any of this, look at these guys in history and see if any of these are local fruits to wherever the heck Seymour is from. Yeah, is there like a national dish from Seymour's area, maybe? Sure. Um, who would like to lead that uh, nature check? Nature check. Uh, not me. Uh, perhaps our druid would be good for nature. Yeah, let me see. I too have nature up the wazoo. <laughs> oh, I got a nat 20. Yeah. All right. Good. You you know everything about everything in this room. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the ingredients and with a natural 20, you find like oh like you know all of these plants they come from distant lands you find one that matches with seymour's uh land but it seems to be completely rotten there's something that all of the edible arrangement have in common everything is rotten everything would make you sick except one Jeez. and there is a mushroom that uh -huh. grows on one of the meat it is a carnivorous mushroom that comes from the Underdark, which you are, uh, you are a rock gnome, so you're familiar with the Underdark. Um, it's a, it's a man-eating mushroom uh, uh -huh. that is edible. Oh, fancy. Mm. So maybe if we take, I mean, I don't want to touch it, but maybe we should present him the yummy mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it sounds sounds good. <laughs> mushroom it up. Desdemona, you you like take your dagger and like cut yeah, uh, a wanna, piece of the I mushroom. I want to take my dagger and cut the mushroom from the meat, mm -hmm. and place it in front of the the cook like it's on a I don't know like cutting board or whatever. All right, yeah, you you cut away uh, the mushroom, um, and you place it like where he can see it, and he like slaps his forehead and like ecstatically he like uh, goes to grab for the mushroom as if like suddenly like his life is saved and he he blinks and suddenly he's like looking at you guys like he can see you and he, he, he looks at the kitchen and he looks at the mushroom and he realizes he seems to like yeah like, there's like a flash of realization that like overcomes him he looks at himself and like what he's uh, currently doing and like the, the futility of it all. And he, he nods and he, he like looks at you. He cannot speak, but he, you, you, you figure he gives you like a, a, a thank you as you have uh, snapped him out of his stupor. Nice. And he disappears. Awesome. Bye, Wait, what Bye -bye, about your time? Chef. Your time. Oh Fair no, he's run... You can keep that and add it to the loot at the end. Yes. Sweet. Wait, okay. can we use the time to add more time? Huh. Can we move on to wait, our next Hold on, room? let me just add a... There you go, 10 seconds later. Let us fill our pockets with <laughs> time. Spices are very valuable in some parts of the world. Let's grab them all. No, there Alan, are, time penalty. There are, <laughs> there are multiple doors leading out of this room. Okay. Yeah, one yes. of them looks like it goes outside. I don't there's know a, there's a door that, that oh, goes outside. Uh, so well, I wanna... turned them off. Do you want me to turn them back on? No. No, 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 don't actually don't do it. Okay, so I think there's two doors in this yes. room. Yes, there's a door that leads this way and a door that leads that way. Let's do the that way one. Wait, <laughs> Let, let's not go through the one we came through. No. Do we want to go outside or do we want to go to the left? I wouldn't find. There's one on the no, right there's three well. doors. There's outside and then there's, or is that the open door that we came in? No, that's there's, the open door we came in, in this corner, there's two doors. Oh. Wait. So there's one near Abadash, and there's, there's one doors? over on... Yeah, there's oh, four there doors to this room. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, kids, where are we going? Well, I mean, if we want completion, we go to the little one on the other side, opposite to that, because it looks like a long, thin room. Yes, yeah, so on the side of the stove. Okay. Yeah, stove wood. Let's go stove door. <laughs> stove wood ho! <laughs> I stride confidently toward the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm awfully glad your confidence hasn't waned. Who, uh, 
Who goes through the door? Art well, it sounds like Art. He's <laughs> yes, confidently striding. I striding around confidently. All right, you confidently grab the door handle and it doesn't budge. Okay, that door is locked. I am confident that this door is locked. All right, I'm gonna pick the shit out of that lock. Epic. All right, make a, you have a uh, thieves tools and you're gonna make a uh, uh, lock picking check. Yeah. A cursed yeah. lock picking check by the look of it. Yes, lock I was check I was gonna wait. <laughs> yeah, thanks for spoiling. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Lock pick yes. or sleight of hand? Are you proficient in lock picking? Uh no. I, I don't, don't believe so. you are because you are oh, a bard. Boop, 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 boop. Wait a minute. I can pick up pockets, maybe. So uh, it's not sleight of hand. Sleight of hand is for hiding and stealing things. This is a specifically a tool check, which is based on your oh, dexterity. God. And you yeah. don't have proficiency, but you have jack of all trades. So it's your dex, I believe, plus one, and your ah. dex. So your dex and then plus one. I believe is how bards work. Sorry if I don't Let's have do that on top of my head. Let's do it. Uh, and also you have oh, disadvantage. Baby. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs> you see, and it's much funnier that way. <laughs> All right. Um, it was going to be 24, but it's seven. <laughs> ah, no. All right. You you, you, you jam your little uh, thieves tool in there. It's like what, like the first time you like put it in to good use. And yeah, it's a very old, heavy lock. And yeah, it doesn't open. Okay, question. Sorry, everybody. This happens sometimes. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's you know, it's, I'm, I'm nervous. Ah, it's, uh, it's all right. you know. I'm proficient with tinker tools. I can make little clockwork devices. Can I make one that'll open the door? You might have to rephrase that. I'm proficient with tinker tools, and I can use them to construct tiny clockwork devices or maybe pick a lock. If you are proficient at constructing mechanisms, you might be proficient at deconstructing mechanisms. Okay, let's um, deconstruct yeah, this just take mechanism. It yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll just home rule it as um, make a uh, straight... Are you proficient? with yes. Yeah, so we'll, d- we'll do a... Uh, so add your proficiency and your intelligence to a roll. And you have advantage because Whoa. Sharp Shadow blessed you. Okay, so 21. 20, Caitlin, you roll so good. So I know. You I'm take, rolling really well. You take your screws, uh, your screws, your your little like screwdriver and your little tools, and instead of like picking the lock, you just remove it from the door. You Cutting lock, the pick, you lock pick lawyered the shit out of this. <laughs> I'm not cheating, guys. I swear, Ian's right here. He would tell on me if I was. I would. All right. So. I'm trying to pick a camera angle. Wine room. Oh, I see bones. Yeah. Dem bones. Dem bones. Dry bones. Dem dry bones. Yeah. <laughs> we all race for that one. Ha-ha. Oh, wow. I, have to, I have to keep track of your guys' score. That's four solved mysteries. Ha! What? Um, We've solved mysteries already? Yeah, four Yeah, or we'll maybe rewrite history. <gasps> all right. The storage room smells of iron and mildew. Oh, a no. body lays in the center clutching something between its bony fingers, a signet encrusted with a family crest and coated with dried blood. The room is unnaturally dark and a sense of confusion and rage washes over you and lingers in the air. Confusion and rage, Haberdash, get in there. All right. Yes, well, very good. Uh, I will, uh, uh, upon Desdemona's uh, yeah, uh, suggestion, I will uh, I will verily henceforth in uh, this room across the threshold. Yes, you, you are in the, room. in the room. That's what I said. <laughs> Wait, does Abadash have a candle? I can see in the uh, dark. He's a, he's a dwarf. He can see in the dark. Okay, I'll but I can't in, but see. I'll come in beside him just to light the room. I'm good at that. There you go. Starful. You got some light. My Keep- eyes are just adjusted. Damn it. <laughs> can you can you see Cole or do you need to refresh the stream? I can see wonderfully. It's great. Okay. Yes, it's uh, it's it, well. Uh, sorry. There's a there's a dead one. Now, um, <laughs> I I will uh, uh, first thing first. I will take a look at the signet ring. Okay. Investigation. Yes. Investigation. Uh, well, discovery. investigation means you found the ring. So Yay. you 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 know the ring. You like it. You like. <laughs> Make an investigation check. I guess you have advantage. Yeah, I, 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 I suppose uh, investigate. Uh, what I wanted to do was uh, investigate what the signet was. 
Yes. Well, that would be history, not ah, uh, a history. Yeah. yeah. Just making uh, sure I get so the. I got a twenty-six. Oh, oh wow! Shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know exactly where this uh, ring belongs to. It is a family that is local to this area, um, that are known to have a lot of turmoil. Uh, there's a lot of competition uh, between like the brothers and the heir, and there was a lot of fighting between like who was like the rightful like true blood descendants. As like they split, there were like twins that were fighting at some point. Um, yeah, th- there was a lot of uh, infighting in that family. Some real Shakespearean shit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sharp right. Shadow is like, so it's a family. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, some Shakespearean uh, in, shit. In, in, oh, art and I performers, we know all about that. In the yeah. same, in, in, in the same way that the uh, that that our uh, that our dearly departed Seymour was uh, was uh, missing, uh, was this family also presumed missing? Like, uh, um, is, 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 yeah, is there they, anything in, in the papers? Yeah, in the papers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Make a his. Wait, you just made a history check. Yeah, it was twenty-six. Um, yeah, so well, the the body seems quite old, so there there would be nothing in the recent papers, right? Uh, but like, there has been uh, like history of like heavy feud within that family, and I mean, their affairs aren't exactly well known everywhere. Okay. Do we have a microfiche of the papers <laughs> going back far <laughs> enough? It, what the it, fuck is a microfiche? It's like it's like pictures on film, like negative film, taken of really like really tiny. There's the esoteric of, humor you were looking for. Yeah, okay. of, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of the newspaper, and, and then you run it through a machine all enlarged. <laughs> Matt Ducking says, ten, "Okay, I just found the old person in the group." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Duckington, we're not looking for the zodiac. We're looking for the <laughs> the signatory. Should we pick up the ring? <laughs> I mean, it could be the Dash is holding it's, the ring. He like pried oh. it from the dried fingers, and he's holding the ring. Is there oh. is the blood covering anything, or uh, the blood is covering the ground, and it's covering ah. uh, uh, the signet ring. Also, I'd Did like we... to point out, it looks like just like bones here, but there is a uh, there is a corpse, like okay. the, like there is flesh and cloth. Uh, is, is there any discernible uh, uh, f- uh, function of this room? Like, well, what what is this room in terms of function? Like it a is wine cellar or food, something? yeah, wine cellar, food storage. Um, okay. It's mostly food in here, which all appears to be rotted. Uh, but right behind Haberdash, there is a large chest. Whoa. Whoa. Get into it. <laughs> I, uh, I would like to inspect this chest for uh, <laughs> traps and, and, and things. All right, Duckington, you you get deeper in the room. Yeah, give me in there. <laughs> you you walk around the the corpse uh, while. Uh, Haberdash is looking at the body. You no, I just saunter right through the corpse. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you walk. Uh, you make your way bloop 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 uh, over the corpse, um, and yeah, you you see uh, you see a chest. All right. Um, yeah, can I inspect the lock for any uh, possible pitfalls or uh, traps? Yeah, make an investigation right check. There but is unfortunately a right you have disadvantage. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. I love the, the way I love this. On you guys, the channel points are you guys are making good use of them. Sharp Shadow is raining doom on our part. He's well, been got, a faithful, a faithful, faithful watcher. He's been here for from the beginning, <laughs> so he has accrued many, many points. <laughs> I've got seven. <laughs> okay, um, you investigate uh, uh, the lock, and you're like. How, how can I open this? You're not too sure. Um, and you're like, you realize it's not locked. So you just pull open the little oh, latch right. uh, and yeah. make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. <laughs> but you what? have advantage, thanks to Kaiser. So there you go, Kaiser's there to offset. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. All right, I got 23. Very good, nice. I will half. Well, actually you, you would, you would um, there is a little, um, spring that like triggers and a needle just like psh, poc, uh, pokes out but you retract your hands fast enough and you don't get stabbed by the needle which has like this like yellowish like ichor that seems to be like dripping from it and yeah you open up the chest uh, and inside are uh, it seems like there's a bag of coins okay I'm gonna safely say few. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, okay, do, do I need to inspect the bag for 
springed needles. <laughs> yes, roll a, roll a death saving throw. No, I'm kidding. No, you, you, you grab the bags and the, the there's three bags and they each seem to contain about 50 gold pieces. All right, well, somebody's not getting a bag of gold. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna maybe cast that detect poison again. Poison gold? <laughs> no, on the needle. Ah. Yeah, I mean, we might be able to gain some insight about what kind of poison. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Yeah, you cast a... like a decisive eh from our DM. You cast detect poison? I'm gonna cast detect poison on the needle. Well, I believe when you cast detect poison, it's concentration. So you you like you can detect poison all around you. I believe. Uh, you cast detect poison, and the needle. Oh, thirty feet. Thirty feet. Yeah. So the needle is indeed poisoned. Ah. Um, and you also poison. you also get like a faint aura. Like one of the bag is like rotted enough that it would be considered a poison, but it's like just happenstance kind of thing. But yeah, the needle is very much it's a poison needle meant to kill people who are would open this chest. Okay, okay, nobody so ate got, the bag. We got like a rich boy from a rich family trying to steal some coins. Mm. Maybe the guy, maybe maybe the brother who lost favor in the family. Haberdash, is the body old enough that you can, uh, or fresh enough that you can tell if it was poisoned? Uh, I, w I would like to make an attempt at determining the cause of death. However, um, just for my elucidation, uh, the corpse is holding the ring, yes? It looks like he was, uh, he, was he's yeah. wearing the wing, ring? No, he was clutching onto the ring. He was clutching onto the ring. So, uh, perhaps he had stolen this, and then in his lust for greed, uh, he has, uh, uh, popped open this chest. Uh, yes, I would like to see if I could determine the cause of death of this, here uh, decayed thing. Very good. Um, yeah, roll a medicine check. Oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, please tell me I've been uh, Oh, Sharp Shadow just blessed you last second. <laughs> oh, bless your heart, Sharp Shadow. Thank goodness, because that's a one as opposed to a 17. <laughs> um, uh, 17 plus a bazillion because I'm very smart. Nice. And, uh, uh, that's a 20, a dirty 20. Very, very, very good. Um, you look at the body. The body seemed to have, like, you, you watch, like, the way the blood streaked on the cobblestone and, like, the way he was positioned. You look at the body, you inspect it over, and you notice in the back of his coat, there is a large slit that seemed to have been, like, cut into the coat. And you, you like, take it, you, like, rip his coat apart. And you notice uh, between, at uh, the back, uh, between his, uh, on the left, between his third and fourth rib, there is a gash that seemed to have been made by a by a blade, like he got stabbed in the back. This boy and... got caught. He got caught. <laughs> and as you, as he you look, didn't protect his neck or back. <laughs> well, as you look over, um, <laughs> as you look over the body, um, an apparition, a, 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 a spirit, like a spirit visage, seemed to uh, appear. Uh, next to uh, Duckington um, as he like is looking at his own body like, like a mirror uh, he's looking at his own body and seems to be like baffled that he was stabbed in the back uh, and like this like glint like gathers at the side of his face um, as he was betrayed in his last moments by a family member and as he comes to this realization he is he is brought to peace uh, he makes peace with it having finally realized what had happened to him, and he fades away. Yeah! Ah! Beware the eyes We of done March. did it. All right, let's head to that other door. Nice. Other door! Yes, yes. Let's keep making our way through. Confidently to the other door, <laughs> for God's sake. Art, as you stride confidently, uh -oh. followed by waiting for this. Desdemona. Oh, oh no, I petard! You notice something. Oh, please notice a good thing. <laughs> Through the door, as you like lean in and you do a quick cursory glance, you see roiling shadows that seem to be coming from the arts room. Okay, shadows shouldn't roil. Oh. And like, it's like endless deep. Like yeah, where I there that was. At school, shadows shouldn't roil. This is bad. <laughs> There was like a uh, ambient light coming from that one window in that room, but now it is just void. Um, and as you just quickly look before you open the door you were going to, 
you suddenly get the feeling that you're being watched. Can I, I cast magic missile at the darkness? I knew it. <laughs> Can I maybe quickly close that door before entering the other door? Yes. Yeah, just lean in real casual like in uh, Yeah, fast. just grab the ice. I'll Go just do back that thing to you. Sort of press on the corner of the door. And yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. Really, just... Oh, it's <laughs> shutting by itself. Oh, yeah. nothing to see here. <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> All right. Uh, you feel a lot, like, immediately you feel relief and that feeling goes away. Uh, as you notice, like, as you are closing the door, the light that was coming from Desdemona's torch no longer fills the dining room. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's good wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you open the other door? I do. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Less confidently, or, or... <laughs> no, with a, with renewed vigor, having ah. just uh, having just saved all of us from that roiling dark. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my hero. I always oh, love you like all. Somebody ah. watching me. And I privacy. No privacy. <laughs> All right. I always like... feel like Heart, somebody you see me. <laughs> Come on with bars, let's do this. <laughs> and I get no privacy. <laughs> I when guess you I guys skipped the lecture on copyright infringement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I closed the door real tight. <laughs> As I just did. Oh, we are enacting the song. Oh, this was a trick all along. <laughs> all right. It's a big room. Okay, it is a big room. Uh, I don't Art. see any ghosties. As oh, you, yes, I do. Yeah, as mind. you enter, um, by a window, a glimmer catches your eye, like light blue fireflies hovering over an old tome. You remember the stories of ghost orbs, faint signals indicating the presence of spirits. So there is some, some sparkly sporkly over there, but it seems that you are in a living room, a study, a little small private library. It's really, it looks cozy. Lead us the tome art. Yes. Uh, confidently. I, yes, let us confidently investigate. What was it, the tome, or the do we want to go over to the window? The ghost tome. The, over to the, the, the ghost tome. The sparklies. Yes. The spooky sparklies. Hello. I'm going to uh, go ahead and keep assuming you guys follow closely somewhat. Behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all together yeah, on this. We're, we're not going to push Art out by himself. You're all not terrified. Yet. <laughs> no, not, yet. Not, not until we see those roiling shadows again. No, no. We are ghostbusters. Na, 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 I mean, somebody na, did. Na, na, somebody na, na, did, in fact, call us. So I guess we are. You yes. are, yeah. Who are you gonna call? Okay. Art, this is Duckington and Harash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you come closer, you hear the sound of quiet sobbing, oh. fading in the blurred outline of a young boy studying the old tomes and scrolls, like uh, lost to time. Muffled screams and commands can be heard, telling the child to study. Oh, you need recess. Ebenezer. Uh, as you uh, go to look at the tome, the vision fades. As you look at the table, you notice remnants of an arcane script slashed with red ink. Oh, is it Ooh, the Necronomicon? Who among, us, <laughs> who among us has Arcana? Clatu Verata Nicto. Oh, you're going to get us in trouble again with that. Uh, d does the language look familiar to somebody who can speak Abyssal and Infernal? Do we have a linguist? Oh, I... Is it Minotaur? Cast... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can cast that again. I speak Infernal. Is it Minotaur? All right. Uh, the two of you, Art and Desdemona, who can speak uh, Infernal and some of you Abyssal, they, they are... They, they, more, they seem more runic in nature. It doesn't seem to be a language. Oh, so it's magic stuff. Or Minotaur, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> can I do uh, an Arcana check? Very good, yeah, you can make an Arcana check. I can make an Arcana check. But you have disadvantage. Oh, but wait. Thanks to Matt. <laughs> but wait. Damn you, Matt. Um, wait. Curse you, Matt. But wait, you I totally I have all the time in the world. You don't. Okay, I just realized I have gnome cunning, which gives me advantage on all intelligent wisdom and charisma. Oh, saving throws. Saving throws. I know how is gnomes this, work. Is this a, is the tome a magical item? Who knows? I can uh, I can cast detect magic and tell you. Do you do so? so? I'm I'm gonna do that then. It might help me with my thing. I have identified. Well, first off, you have to roll your Arcana check at disadvantage. Uh, okay. Testimony. My roll is 22. With disadvantage. 
I rolled two 16s. Ooh, ooh. Ian, what's going on over there? Oh, you can't no, stop the Desi train. It's legit, and you know that because I keep rolling twos. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow, I was not expecting you guys to do that this quickly, but I guess I did read uh, too far ahead. <laughs> the luck has made me powerful today. All right. Um, I'm kids because I'm doing too well. You recognize the script as, like, homework for a magical Ew. formula, but it is far too advanced for someone of, like, the age that the, that child seemed to be. Um, and he couldn't get it right, and it was... Uh, like crossed over like mistake like it was crossed over with red ink as he had made too many mistake and you still hear that sobbing in the distance can we like help him cheat on his homework or yeah. like get a, a green pen and do a check mark yeah 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 like, so, we'll, we'll change the answers you I take don't know that he's doing pre-calc <laughs> you take uh, a pen a, a, a ink pen that seemed to be like the one he was using and you correct his mistake and fill in and finish the runes and we like erase uh, not erase but cover over uh, the one that was marked in in red ink and the vision of the boy reappears and he looks at his homework all excited and he goes like yes and he uh, runs towards the window phases through the wall and you can see outside the window, he just like goes outside to play and the vision just fades. Even yeah. I think that's super sad. How do you like them apples? Take like that well. overbearing taskmaster. So sad. Kids deserve homework playtime free. Wait, no, I mean they deserve homework free playtime. Right, I suppose all that is left is the stairs. Oh, great. <laughs> Though I do admit some trepidation as, uh... No, no, we need you to stride confidently. That's your thing. <laughs> All right. I stride confidently through my trepidation towards also, the Also, I think the roiling shadows are in the art room, so we could probably sneak past. Yay. Oh, yes. oh, can we put our lights out and have that stealth thing? You guys would like to start stealthing? Yeah, let's Yeah, stealth. I reckon we want to do that. Haberdash, protect us with your magic. All right. Boop. And you open the door, Art. Yes. All right. Confidently. With <laughs> great confidence. <laughs> Slap yourself in the face with it. Unfortunately, I just have to do it that way. <laughs> ah! Art rolled a one on opening door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Uh, you open the door, and you, as you enter back into the entrance, uh, Art, make a perception check with advantage, thanks to Sharp Shadow. Thank you, Sharp Shadow. Ah, net 20. Very nice. You... Stop a moment in your step uh, as you're preparing to go. I forgot to make you guys roll stealth, but we can do that after. Um, you hear through the door creaking, coming from the dining room. Oh, like right there with that door. <laughs> like in there somewhere. It seems to be, it's hard to pinpoint exact location. Hmm. Guys. How do we feel about heading straight upstairs and not going into the dining room? Oh, 100%, yeah. Can we do the uh, the tippy-toe thing where we go, like, in our real arched legs? Like, yeah. Dun, 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 yes. dun, dun. And remember, we still have my super stealthy stealthiness. Oh, you... can you play that on your loot while we go... Actually, don't play it on the loot while we go past it. <laughs> <laughs> Haberdash? Yes? How long does Pass Without a Trace last? One standard Earth hour. Very good. It's still yes. going, then. And as you prepare to stealth, the ticking of the clock gets louder. Oh dear. And if louder. If I find this clock, I'm going to smash it. All right, chat. It is time to vote. Oh no. I feel like oh, I'm in a Floyd too Oh, dong, dong, dong. I forgot. More <laughs> intrigue. Hold on. This time I'm going to do the, I'm going to start the poll First, oh, dongs. That's a lot of dongs. Okay. This will be a good one. And guys, you're not, al uh, players, you're not allowed to vote oh, on this one because this one's important. Well, thank goodness we've got someone in the chat who is definitely not Cole. Yeah. <laughs> Agree. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, dear. We're the subjects. I don't like this one bit. I don't care for that at all. Rage and hunger. It must be satiated. Type exclamation point vote in chat followed by a space in the option number. <laughs> For Katie, press one. 
For Ian, <laughs> press two. For Cole, press three. Like for Bill, press, press four. four. Well, I'll, I'll you guys, the... How you can guys... I repeat those options? How can I repeat those options? I need them in French. Why are you voting for me, chat? No, I'm too powerful. I, 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 like, I, I desperately want to win this bowl, which just speaks to just the, the <laughs> crippling problems in my own mind. It's like we're Jason Todd. Hey guys, you can call in to choose whether or not Jason <laughs> Todd dies or not. Do you hate Jason Todd? <laughs> Ian w won with three votes. Oh no. Are we calling it winning? Is that what this- <laughs> <laughs> You caught me. I just meant to say that option won. <laughs> He confidently yeah. won. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, whoever Confidently wins. strode towards the Whoever wins, you. we all lose. I'm all quite right. confident I'm royally effed. Okay, oh. now I can do secret things and no one can see it. Oh, just DM stuff, eh? Yeah, that's what I do. Now, I, I don't know what this vote means, but Remy, I want you to know I've always loved you. I, I, I love you. <laughs> I love you, Ian, it's just Chad doesn't. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Ah, uh, okay. KZR underscore in VD. That's democracy, baby. <laughs> this is democracy manifest. All right. Uh, I would like everyone. Whoa. Well, first, <laughs> I will terrifying. reset you guys uh, because we were doing vote. So we're going to give you guys five extra minutes. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. What, what the hell is that? What okay. is that thing? It's roiling shadows. Yeah. That's, All right, everyone, that's, make stealth checks. That is absolutely roiling. You've nailed that. We make what checks? Stealth. Okay. Oh. Stealth checks. And we all get plus 10, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. 20. Not natural. Uh, next person to roll, you have advantage. I have a filthy 22. Okay. Take advantage if you need it. I'll just say. There you go. So, so Sharp Shadow um, can get the most Cole, out of his bless. do you bless. need it? Because I might need it. Uh, no, I'm good. I got 23. Who okay, was that? Okay, I've got 25 now. Thank you. All of you are above 20? Yeah. We're all above 20. Awesome. <laughs> Art, where are you headed? So do we do the little, the, the tiptoes, the do, 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 yes. do, do, yes. do, do, I confidently sneak for the stairs. <laughs> okay. You make your way up the stairs and Haberdash right behind. Yep. I'm on his six. Followed by Duckington <laughs> and Desdemona. If you want to do the order differently, let me know. I'm good with that. Bit of a fixer up, <laughs> There you go. You are upstairs. Oh my heavens. Uh, Art, I guess since tough. you are still first, I guess you would see this first before anyone else. Through here, uh, if I can uh, do this like that. Through the stained glass of the upper floor, the distorted image of an ethereal figure floats round and round on the balcony. That's all you I see. I mean, gang coming up the stairs. There seems to be a figure on an outdoor balcony. Should we Let's investigate? There. Should we investigate that first, or should we, should we stay indoors? I think I'm. I I, I want us to, but I'm also slightly concerned that getting out of the house is going to be a thing we have to do at the end. So I'm wondering if doing that last, then jumping off the balcony, is an option. I don't want to sprain my ankle. Well, well, I've got acrobatics. I'll be fine. Okay, let's. What do you guys want to do? I uh, I am inclined to agree with Disney Moon. I, I think we should remain indoors for now. Agreed. Remember, yeah, that uh, might uh, need uh, to be our escape route. Earlier they said it was chilly. No, they didn't. I wanted it to be chilly. It was foggy. Anyway, it's foggy. Yeah, I don't want to be out in the fog. Fog do that. We, do we stand <sighs> next to a door? Uh, yeah, there's one right oh, next yes. to Oh, uh, yes. There's one behind a Haberdash and there's one leading outside. I'll try this door. Screw it. Haberdash? Yes. Fortune okay. favors the bold. Knock, knock, knock. In I go. Yes, it appears to be unlocked. Open it. Yeah. And inside. Roiling shadows, not roiling shadows, not roiling shadows. Roiling shadow. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's Damn. No, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Um, inside, money. you see. Ah, oh, it's more spookly sparklies. Yes. You see as you enter the room, serving as a table, a large cage. The inside is covered by bloody rags and torn clothes and filled with the dull echoes of distant cries. You then see Ooh, it. Oh, it's a torture chamber. You then see it writhing in the center, an infant, no more than a few months old. Its appearance is shimmering, faint and ghostly. The vision clarifies, slowly growing 
It's a child, a younger girl. Her hair lengthens and her body morphs into the figure of an emaciated woman. She turns and raises her head to look at you. Her eyes are brimming with despair. She seems to be fading while the cage is filled with an eerie glow. After you, Abadash. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll make my way into the room and uh, uh, perhaps I'll, I'll, I'll kneel at the, at, at the cage, at the caged woman and, uh, and, and, and just e express her. Express my sympathies. Yeah, she like reaches out like a ghostly hand. I ain't you... touching that. <laughs> yeah. Is there a like? <laughs> yeah. Is there like, a lock on the cage or something? Like, does she need to be let out? Uh, the cage seemed to be uh, very heavily locked. Are those bolt cutters atop the cage? Um, there uh, seems to be uh, serrated scissors, so they are meant to cut flesh. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I can't this... find a good camera angle. Yes, might I, might I enter the room as well, and perhaps investigate for any uh, correspondence that might be strewn about the room? Yeah, yeah you I'll go see, look I'll at see the um, paper, books. Yeah, you go look at the books. Make an investigation check. Do it, Art. Uh, you got this. So I'm rather curious about the adjoining room as well. Adjoining? You mean this corridor? Uh, uh, yes. I yes. had a twenty-one on my investigation. All right. Uh, while I explain what Art sees, uh, Duckington, make an investigation yeah. check. Yeah, 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 because there's an empty space that I don't trust. 19. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll get to that. Please remember that number. Or if I don't remember, please remind me that you made that check. I'm just going to cover what Art uh, looked at Got first. It. You Peggy see... 19. Peggy 19. Peggy <laughs> 19. It's just a game. You see on those uh, displays, like, research papers on, like, old medicines. Uh, there's some uh, drawings of, like, the human body. Uh, there's, like, artistic depiction of what, like, the internal organs look like. Um, but really, like, what, you, what catches your attention that is relevant to this situation is a journal that is kept about the study of what happens to a humanoid when fully grown in captivity. Hmm. My word. Spent their whole life in a cage. Oh, How horrible. How horrible. Uh, Duckington, uh, you rolled a 19? I did. Okay. You notice, to your left, there is the walls fake. Aha! It's, are there scratches on the floor or something? Yes, there is. Or do I... Yeah, fantastic. Um, you also notice that the blood uh, on the ground... You Actually, you can't see on, uh, You can't see in the dark. <laughs> I should have made you roll that with disadvantage. That's all right. Uh, you, you just noticed the wall is fake. All right. Um, oh, look, blood. Um, <laughs> uh, can I uh, can I investigate again, or do I need to? What kind of check? If I want to look at the wall and see if there's any kind of mechanism, like a button or a, some kind of uh, switch. Touching the wall, um, I'll just, Matt gave you, I was going to just say it, but Matt cursed you, so you have to roll investigation for it. <laughs> All right. Matt really has it in for me. <laughs> uh, seven. Um, yeah, it, like the wall, you can tell it's flush, but it is, uh, it is fake. Like, it could be opened. Like, it opens here. Can I bust it down? Yeah, you just, like, shoulder check it? Yeah. Yes, he'll use his hulking halfling frame to smash through the wall. <laughs> oh, I'm small, but I'm stocky. <laughs> ah! You smash the door open, the oh. loudly cracks uh, and, like, shatters yeah. on the ground. You fall with it into the what looks to be the master bedroom. Uh, Immediately. I'm certainly glad we snuck past the dining room. Art? Yeah, that's just so that the roiling <laughs> shadows didn't come out. Art, the hair on like the, at the back of your neck, you get like this massive cold shiver. Mm. It's fine, Art. Don't worry. It's not got anything to do with me bashing the door. Desdemona, you hear footsteps. I hear something. Also, nothing to do with me. Guys, <laughs> guys, do we need to move? I don't mean to alarm anyone, but I believe my spider-like sense is <laughs> tingling. <laughs> Is yeah. there, oh, funny, there was a name for those. Is, is there a way to release this this uh, this this poor uh, wretch? We gotta find that out. Oh god! Guys, stuff's coming upstairs. We gotta oh, get out moving, of this room. He's moving the roiling. <laughs> All right. Uh, who looks at the? Oh my god! There's so many curses and blesses in chat. Okay, I'll keep track of it. Okay, who wants to have a, a go at the lock? Uh, to, to 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 let this per person go. Can someone yeah. perhaps close the door? I'll do it. I'll have a look at the lock. 
Okay. No, no, you're closest to the door. Can you close the door? So I need to add my, was it intelligence or wisdom? Uh, it was intelligence, but intelligence. you, you see, like, it's like a, like the lock. Uh, it's uh, obviously designed not to be just dis- disassembled from the outside. There is no exposed screw, so you will not be able to use your tinker's tools with it. Okay. Well, Dex is not something I am good at. So, anyone else want to? Can know? I run back in there and try? Uh, sure. Dex, yeah. If they if they call for me, yeah, you come back inside. May, may I? May, may I? Uh, pause it. Uh, may, may I use? Uh, my light hammer to smash open this lock. Okay, yeah. Fuck stealth, am I right? <laughs> uh, that's yeah, true. We've it... already, I've already we, we, bashed a door down. That's true, that's well true. We, we have fucking ten running through doors now. <laughs> Might as well just crack open this bad boy. Okay, and to answer Kaiser's question, I'm uh, doing them in series, so I try to keep them all on top of my head. So uh, this attack roll will be made with advantage, and then uh, I'll do the curse after. Unless you want, you specifically want to cancel out the bless. <laughs> Let me know, Kaiser, what you want and all. We'll make it happen. What did you get, Haberdash? Uh, do, do, do we know if it's uh, if just it, if, start if with a straight roll? Yeah. Okay, what did you? Uh, what was your first roll? It's a straight fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that hits. Roll damage. Yeah. That's a four plus what, my strength, I guess. Oh, just yeah. a four. Yeah. Oh my god, just a four. <laughs> okay. <Yes>. Um. <laughs> Yeah, you like hit the, uh, it makes like a loud clang and you hear this like coming from uh, down the stairs uh, oh. and, and the log does not give. Okay, we don't, we don't got time for this shit. Melf's nope. acid arrow. Okay, Ooh. yeah, you Can go. Can I milk this bitch? You, oh wait, you, the <laughs> lock? There's Demona. Can gone. I melt the lock? Full outlaw. You do realize Melf acid arrow has splash damage, yes? Um, it just, it, it could happen it. if Haberdash uh, oh, walks. It away. only it only has it only has um, splash damage on a miss, and it, am I really gonna miss the thing I'm like standing directly next to? Well, we're I all mean, yeah, we've been doing great next. so far. <laughs> Can we maybe just crack it on the thing instead of yeah, shooting? Go go ahead and roll uh, roll uh, your attack roll, but you have um, disadvantage. On a hit, the target takes. Oh, I have to roll to hit it. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it's a it's a ranged spell attack. You got it. Disadvantage? No, I don't. <laughs> you guys are bards. Inspire me. Ah, uh, yes, I have bardic inspiration. Too uh, late. Uh, that is that is yeah. very much too late. Too late. <laughs> I just want to say, I feel like everything's gone a little bit downhill ever since Art put on those ancient artifacts. So, um, which of us smashed through the wall there? Uh, that's Stop. recent history. Uh, we're talking about ancient history. Stop! If we turn on each other, the house wins. Now he <laughs> came in like a wrecking ball. It is oh, magic, though. Don't, do I really have to roll magic? It's a it's a magical spell attack. So it uses it doesn't use your saving throw. It uses your spell bonus. Oh, so it uses my spell attack bonus? Yes. Oh, Hello, still... Dark Hoblin. Welcome. Uh, it's still only a nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't it, it sound great. The the acid like kind of just like but splashes. The, but what's this? What's the flipping DC of a or armor class of a of a lock? Well, it's like all armor, so it's probably pretty high. Yeah, uh, it, but like what happens is that like you hit the bars and the acid just fucking goes everywhere and like splashes onto Haberdash and, and like splashes like a little bit onto Three you guys. because you're so you have to roll damage. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Art, what do you got over there, there, Slick? <laughs> Anything handy? Uh, How's well, your I, book, Art? I'm having trouble reading it due to the draft from the open door. <laughs> I need D. De- I have. Okay. All right. How much damage did you deal to your friends and yourself, Caitlin? Nine. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's a lot. Did I get the lock at all? Uh, yeah, it got splashed a bit. It is made out of stainless steel, though. Oh, it won't rust. It is no. damaged. The lock got hit by a hammer and acided. Oh, look at chat supporting you guys. They really believe in you. Oh, C- yeah. Can I can I, can I pick it? Yes, Duckington. <laughs> go ahead and try to pick the lock. That's covered in acid. That's covered in acid. Yeah, but it's stainless. It just it just yeah. It, it doesn't stick. What? Uh, acid. <laughs> he can dream, Caitlin. <laughs> yeah. You have advantage on your oh, lock awesome. pick. check. Thanks to Matt and Sharp Shadow, but we'll do another blessing. 22. 
22. All right. Well, you deftly, even like <laughs> you work best under stress. Under pressure, I shine like a diamond. Baby. Exactly. And you undo the lock. You open the gate and the, the face of the woman just like lights up. She seems to like regain like 30 years and she just reaches out and fades. Yeah, yes. you're welcome, you're welcome. We gotta get the fuck out of here. As this run, happens... Oh. No, everybody run, everybody run! Yeah, as this happens, that was an entire... All four of you got to have a turn. He will get a turn as well. And because you guys are making... Do shit. Who I didn't do shit. I didn't do shit. Oh, sure he's reading. No, oh. Art. Oh, Art didn't do shit. Yeah, Art uh, did an investigation all that. Reading takes a long time. Oh, boo. The uh, roiling shadow walks into the room from the stairs. And uh, uh, in range is Haberdash. So no, he will Haberdash. make an attack roll against Haberdash. Oh, no. Sorry, Haberdash. It's all right. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, hey, I'm, Sharp Shadow, oh. can I steal your bless? <laughs> no, I rolled a one. <laughs> yes. Good. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah. Wait, Matt blessed me. Ah. Matt blessed me. I'm rolling again. You thought I was wearing armor. I was wearing plot armor the whole time. Wait, I rolled again. <laughs> he gets a... Uh, wait, hold on. I have to do... Because you guys reduced the threat level by a lot. So he is at... Yeah, so like he's he like is smaller and weaker than before. Good. Yeah, that is a 17. Am I doing math? <laughs> I think that's 17 oh, to hit. So he's smaller and weaker, but that's a 17. To hit. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that, 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 that's gonna hit every day of the week. Okay. How will hit. Remember, you have curing power. I can whip up a whole bushel of good berries. That'll be fine. Okay, good. <laughs> you take 17 slashing damage. No! Just a flesh wound. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right. Um, so, bad news. <laughs> How are you doing, Abadash? Felt better. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, ouch! I declare. <laughs> <laughs> no cavernous! Okay, we are now fully in initiative. Oh, so, shit. Uh, I would like everyone to roll initiative. 21. Uh, I got 16. 15. 10. I was okay. going to say, he's been very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> A thundering ten. I mean, okay. you've got the confidence, but you, you don't have the moves. Duckington, you go first. Yeah. What would you like to do? What do you think, gang? Should we? Uh, should I attack it? How, do I figure out if I can attack it? Is it corporeal? Does it look corporeal? It hit Haberdash. It sure felt corporeal. <laughs> <laughs> it did slashing damage. Yeah, I'm going to attack that bastard. Okay. Oh dear. So you move yeah, uh, you. Uh, slightly closer, just in position. Yeah. Now is the winter of our discontent. Made glorious summer by the sun. What would you like to attack with? Two weapon fighting. I'll attack with my rapier and my dagger. Uh, so I looked at your sheet. Uh, oh, rapier not is not a light weapon. Oh, boo. Uh, but we instead of making it a D8, we can make it a D6, and then I'll allow it. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. We'll say it's a it's a very very fancy short sword. There we go. It's re it's really fancy. I stole it off a guy. I mean, I won it off a guy <laughs> <laughs> in a sabak right. tournament. All right, I got to roll to hit with with both, right? Uh, yeah. You don't have multi attack, but you are attacking once with your right hand and then bonus action attacking with your left hand. Okay. Well, I got that was a question, not a statement. <laughs> Twenty four on the main hand. Oh, you have advantage on your next. We'll say we have advantage on your next hit because you All hit right. already. Two bless stack. Uh, yeah, uh, so that's the first hit. You want to roll damage? Yeah. Boop, bitty, boop, bitty, How's it going, boop. chat? Did I miss anything? Oh, there's a bless. Yeah, uh, I, I, I Sharp Shadow and seven. Matt. Seven damage? Seven damage. Okay, yeah, as you swing your first uh, rapier, uh, your short rapier, <laughs> you do feel resistance. You catch something, and as you, like, you, you, like, slice lightly into something, and you pull back your sword, and you see the edge has, like, this, like, black are like substance. Weird. Oh my god, they're redeeming blesses and curses way too fast. <laughs> oh no. Okay, uh, go, you still bless though if you want for your second attack. Yeah, I've got 18. Yes, hits. Six damage. All right. Well fought, Haberdash. No, excuse me. <laughs> uh, Duckington. Uh, 
<laughs> well, okay. uh, in, well endured, Haberdash. Both of your I hit... don't know what this tar is on my weapons, though. Does anybody know what this is? Yeah, both of your hits landed and, like, found purchase. But, like, you, you, like, cough out, like, the smoke that you're breathing in. It's, like, an awful smell that seems to, like, cover your lungs. Uh, and you're, like, you're just, like, go, t- go in, two hits, go back out. Uh, and you, you don't get, like, other than the, the thing that, the, the proof that you have on your blade, you don't get a reaction from the, the entity. Perhaps, perhaps this is not uh, something, <laughs> this um. foe is beyond all of us. <laughs> it certainly hits uh. pretty hard. Okay. Is, it, it, so if you're done with your turn, uh, Duckington, next is Desdemona. Okay, um, I'm going to cast, maybe, Moonbeam mm-hmm. at third level um, on top of it. And if it's a sh- it, may, it needs to make a constitution saving throw. Um, and if it's a shape changer, it makes it saving throw at disadvantage and being hit will and failing will cause yeah. it to revert to its original form. Ooh. Maybe. You cast the beam of light and it just like, it like illuminates like the floor and the ceiling, but the middle of the beam just seems to be like completely engulfed in the shadow. Uh, he will do a, a saving throw at the beginning of his turn. And um, I don't know if I'm directly next to him, but am I able to take a couple steps towards that door? You are not uh, in a threat range of him. Uh, you want to go towards the door that was busted down? Yeah, just take a couple steps over that way. Okay, yeah, you move 10 feet, and you are at the entrance of the... Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to bail, but I want to be close to it in case we got to do a runny. Yeah, you are at the entrance of the master bedroom. Okay, neat. The big old funky chair. The big old death room where Mr. Death sleeps in his death dreams. What a D-bag. Do you end your turn? Yeah. Haberdash, it is your turn. Right. Uh, I will call out over my shoulder. I will say, I will hold him at the door! Everyone get into the main room! Get into that other room! and lock yourselves in there, save yourselves! And then I'm going to withdraw my dagger and I'm going to plunge it at the critter, most foul. Okay, go ahead, make an attack roll. Are we, I don't think we're, we're on a curse now, I believe, so you have disadvantage on the attack. (laughs) Well, goody, because that first roll uh, was trash. (laughs) And the second one was oh so much worse. That is a critical thing. Okay, so yeah, you you miss. Uh, you're like just like trying to hold him at bay, just like swinging your your knife, but it's it's a short dagger and it doesn't have the range to like penetrate the inside the fog. I was told not to prepare for combat. <laughs> <laughs> I no. would like oh, to. Uh, you said combat light. Words. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, uh, that is yes. yes. Okay, Ian, what would you like to do? To cast healing word on Haberdash. Okay, go ahead. Beep, bonus beep, bonus beep, action. Beep, beep. Pew pew. Right. Six. Okay, Haberdash, you heal for six. And Art, you still have a, an action and your movement. <laughs> Do you want to leg yeah, it? Movement. Do you want to leg it over? Oh, yes. And yeah, and uh, once once that's cast, I'll, I'll book it over to where Desdemona is. As you run uh, across the room, you still feel that like shiver on like your spine. You move 15 feet um, and you cannot see its eyes, but you just know that it's looking at you. Mm, perhaps, perhaps you all should go. Damn it, Art, I don't want that. No, guys, it's in the, it's in the moonbeam. It's gonna have to take, it's gonna have, it's gonna have to take a saving throw. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Here's, here's Desdemona, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, Desdemona gets really emotional during fight sequences. She likes to pretend she's hard, but she's a soft bunny girl. Uh, yeah, Art, you still have some movement and you still have an action. Uh, well, I wonder, is it better to, confidently hand myself to the beast confidently flee <laughs> get back whatever in the you, room whatever you do do it with confidence get, get back in the room we can relitigate it later I shall retreat into the room alright that's about as far as you can go don't forget Excellent. me bless oh thank you sharp shadow there hasn't been a roll in a while though that's why did I miss one, uh, Sharp Shadow? Thank you for reminding I did, me. I, I did heal. Yeah, heal doesn't uh, need, uh, doesn't do a. There's no d20 roll for heal, ah, so good, that's good. why. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Sharp Shadow. I'll, I'll remember. I'll try my best to remember. Can we use Sharp Shadow's bless to make him fail his saving throw? Uh, like, it right. doesn't. Uh, it doesn't affect the the DM unless like someone does that at the perfect time. I'm gonna say because it's meant for the players. I've uh, got cutting words ready. I'm going to call you go. this shadow a son of a bitch. At the right okay, moment. at the beginning of the creature's... Well, actually, uh, Ian, you still have art, You still have an action, which means you could dash, you could do. You could interact with something, you could do a check, you could do a lot of things, or you just want to end your turn. Am I able to investigate 
the chest. You don't have the movement speed to get to the chest, but you could, instead of investigating, you could dash to the chest. Let us dash to the chest. All right. Use have your action dash. to dash. Confidently or oh, Always. most confidently. Oh, okay. Uh, at the beginning of the shadow's turn, he's going to make a, I believe it's a wisdom saving throw, Caitlin. A constitution. Constitution. Wait. Duckington, yeah. does your cutting word affect saving throws? Yeah, it does. It does. Okay, do, would you like to? It's a constitution. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, roll. Constitution. You know what? I'll give uh, you the bless on your cutting, so you can roll right. twice and take the highest dice. Oh, sweet baby. All right, uh, 11. You got to take that off your roll. <laughs> Holy shit. So that brings it down to a three. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um. So now I do... Um, 3d10 damage. What level did you- oh, really? God I damn. Rolled it, I rolled it at level oh, 3. Oh, third level. Um, oh, not very great. 12. 12? 12. All right. Uh, the beam sears into him, and he takes 12. All right. But does it is he, his does turn, he though. the original form? No. What he does uh. is he's going to use his ability. He's no. going to phase through the wall. Son of a bitch. All right. And he's going to make an attack roll at Art. Oh. Why didn't he phase through the wall before? <laughs> That's another natural one. Yes! <laughs> yes! His second natural one. Yes! All right. And that's the end of his turn, which brings it to Duckington. That's the power of confidence. You guys stay over there. And the power of friendship. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys will run right. away. No. <laughs> No, I refuse. Oh, I'm going to run in that room, and I'm going to cast fucking Dispel Magic. Okay. Ooh. Use that's all I've 10 done. feet of movement to go right next to Desdemona, and you, you, you don't have to go any further, but you can if you want to. Yeah, get me in there. Oh. You, you are you have visual range of him. Do you want to keep going? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Get me bet- get me as close as you can between Art and the, and the Shadow Royal thing. Well, they're against each other, but you can also be... Uh, against them. Oh, it's spooky. Like. You can't interpose, but you can be All against right. them as well. Yeah. All yeah, right. Give him two targets. <laughs> there you go. All right. Dispel magic. Uh, roll. Dispel magic has an option where you have to roll. I believe it's a... Uh, am I able to inspire? I am a bard after all. You have to inspire on your turn uh, as a bonus action. Never mind. Can I and inspire myself? No. <laughs> you can at higher levels, but I don't think you're... Damn it's it. like level 10 <laughs> or something like that. Uh, what do I have to roll? What? Yeah, that's I'm looking that up right now. Dispel. Uh, no, I think I just get I think I just get to do it. If it's level three or below, which it's not. Uh, yeah, you do a DC equal to ten plus the spell's level. So make a uh, whatever your spell whatever you're spell casting, your whatever you're the best at, like your charisma, because you're yeah. a bard, make yeah. a uh, make My a check. spell attack is plus six. Not using that your spell or... attack. It's just using a, your your charisma. Oh, okay, yep, yep. 16. 16. Okay, that is indeed enough. Something about the uh, magic he was... Uh, Sharp Shadow, bless you, right at the last uh, uh, second. Uh, but we'll... Didn't Sharp Shadow, even we'll, need it. Yeah, we'll, we'll save it to when he needs it. Um, you, you, you cast it into the darkness. Uh, I and cast it at the darkness. Yeah, you cast it at the darkness. Let me... Give me a second. Select what is that? Material. It looks like a flippin' reaper. Oh, yeah. and he would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for us <laughs> meddling kids. Old man withers. It is an old man, hunched Ugh. over, and he has, like, disgustingly long claws. Uh, and, yeah, he looks, oh, like, shit, old and... <laughs> he looks like, old and, like, filled with undeath, and his, his eyes are just jet black. But, yeah, Murder. you dispel uh, the cloud that seemed to have been surrounding him. Awesome. Someone looks ripe for a stabbing. All right, that was your action. Yeah. And and most of your movement. Would you like to? Is that it for your turn, or would you like to do something with your bonus action? Yeah. What can I do with my bonus action right now? I'm I'm trying to look. Where You're a we? bard, so mostly inspiration, and sometimes like if you picked healing words or anything like that. But inspiration is the big one. Yeah. Uh, I'll inspire. Uh, wait. Who's who's next? Next is uh, Desdemona. Don't inspire me. <laughs> She's gonna bolt this. <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly just gonna move something. Uh, I'll inspire Art. Oh, that's very kind of you. Yeah. All right, Art, you are inspired. Yes. Do you do you feel it, Art? Do you feel inspired? <laughs> How do you inspire him, uh, Duckington? As I put you on the spot there. 
You know, I do. I feel inspired and confident. Oh, yeah, damn. You know what? I, I, think, I think it's time for Eye of the Tiger. L legally distinct. <laughs> on the bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 on my bagpipes. Can I whip out my bagpipes and play Eye of the Tiger? All yes. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but for copyrights uh, reasons, Actually, no, we'll I'll just, change uh... the line. I want to play on the bagpipes. Long way to the top if you want to rock and roll by ACDC. <laughs> so oh, very nice. <laughs> for copyright reasons, we'll just theater of the mind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's all imagine that song in the head. Yeah, Everyone take how, a second. How great it is. All right, That's Desdemona, it is your turn. I'm going to use my action to move my moonbeam back onto his, his body. Yeah. I don't know if I have something that looks nice that I could use as a moonbeam. That's okay. Uh, I'm using my theater of my mind. Yeah, but well, I... Uh, make him have a candle I and like we'll pretend flexing. it's a moonbeam. I don't know if Wait. I can do, like, bonus anything. Oh, jeez. Maybe that's a little too intense. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Never mind. Like I tried. I, I, I would I have to it. look I for it. it. It's, it's the golden eye laser. <laughs> okay, we'll just we'll just put I'll just put a a little oh, yeah, uh, I'm invincible a little nah. light. Well, whatever. We'll we'll just theater of the mind. Okay, yeah. You move it onto him. So at the beginning of his turn, he'll do a check. Yeah. Uh, you have yeah. all your movement. Oh yeah, I have my movement. Um. He's a weird old man now. Maybe he's not dangerous. Uh, we should still hmm. kill him. I'm going to yeah. stay where I am. I like safety. I don't have... I don't think I have any bonus stuff and stuff I can do. That's up to you if you picked any... Can you throw anything at him? Any spells? There's a few uh, druid spells that are bonus action. Uh, let me see. But if you can't think of anything, we can Wait, move give me on. a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute to think of things. Uh, yeah. Action. It's a long Action. way to the top if you want, you want to rock and roll. <laughs> We're literally under a ticking clock. <laughs> I think everything I have prepared are actions. Okay. I'm so sorry. Steve. It'll move on to Cole's turn. Okay. Uh, Haberdash is going to run around the corner, uh, withdrawing his crossbow from his back, and he confidently. Confidently, and he is going to take aim at this uh, sinister figure standing before Art. All right, you oh, just... It's, it's time for vengeance. <laughs> Use Desdemona as a tripod to uh, steady your shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. 30. Wait, did I miss a bless or a curse chat? Oh, yeah, Matt, with the clutch, you are blessed, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, great, I rolled exactly what I rolled the first time, which was a two. Womp womp. Um... But you have, okay. you have advantage because you're too blessed to be yeah. stressed. I have Wait, an did extra you attack? Wait, hold on, hold on. What? Haberdash. Yes. Did you roll a two with advantage? Yes. You rolled two twos? I rolled a two once and then I rolled a two again. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Sorry, yes. Matt. You right, tried to help no him, but there is no, no saving, saving him. <laughs> um, however, I have an extra attack, um, and so I will try that again. Uh, ha this time it will be a 13. Wait, Haberdash, you are a ranger and you have multi-attack? Uh, I have an extra attack granted to me at level 5. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, okay, so if anyone in chat is, like, losing his shit, it's it's technically a uh, it's technically a bow, but just, like, flavor-wise, it's a crossbow. So I'm I'm not giving him the loading property or whatever. So, yeah, you have your second attack. It's a bow that's been uh, enchanted yeah. uh, so to the, look but, like uh, a crossbow. Unfortunately, I got a 13, which is probably not great. 13 uh, misses. Two. Yes, I figured it might. Such a gross old man, though. I respect the effort, have <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's what I will do. I will reload my crossbow and hope I don't need to do it again. Missed All right, it. it is now Art's turn. Ha, ah, well, you're inspired. I am <laughs> feeling inspired. Part of me wonders. I say that whole fucking song. <laughs> part of me, part of me wonders if there's something useful in this chest. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps a swarm of angry genies that might uh, take care of our friend here. Or his heart. Wish for more yes. questions. Yes. <laughs> I uh, mean, that is a maybe question, and there is definitely a scary old man with Wolverine claws in front of you. True. Perhaps the time for words has ended. <laughs> <laughs> I draw my rapier from my thigh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sharp Shadow. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting. I'm with, waiting for you, Ian. Do you do an attack? What's happening? With grim, inspired confidence. Yes. I lash out. <laughs> okay. So do a uh, roll an attack roll and add. Is it a d6 or a d8, uh, Duckington? It's a d8. 
Perfect. You can add a D8 to that roll. Oh, shit. <laughs> roll the D8. Roll the D8. Oh, there's a bless. There's a bless. In the chat. There's a bless. You can reroll. Thanks, guys. I think Kaiser. it came in before. I think the bless came in before. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I assume because of the delay, it did yeah, some... internet latency. It's latency. Yes. That's what roll it is. the D8. Roll the D8. How is this happening? <laughs> Kaiser, this might not be redeemable. Plus, plus four. Uh, oh, I see. A 12. 12 total? That's not great. You have, you have advantage and a D8, and it's a 12 total? <laughs> I'm inspired, but perhaps not that inspired. <laughs> okay. I guess I picked the wrong song. I should have gone with Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> Unfortunately, it misses. We have 15 minutes left. I am confident that I missed. <laughs> <laughs> you missed in style, baby. <laughs> Sorry, Kaiser, there's no redeeming this trade for my For my bonus action, though, do I have that? Yes. Uh, maybe. I I cast Bardic Inspiration. Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> Upon my good Bard brother. Yes. <laughs> okay. What song? You, you guys are just in, you guys are just like cheering each other. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like air guitaring spirits. and shit back and forth, like yeah, wild yeah. stallions. No, oh, we're building time for dueling pianos, fam. <laughs> no, for, for you, I select a long way to Tipperary. <laughs> oh, fantastic! It's a long way to Tipperary. <laughs> it's a long way back home. <laughs> yes. It's a long oh, way. Love it. <laughs> We have like ten minutes, guys. All I right. You, but come on. Yeah, yeah. It but brings every, him you know, back what? to Time the shadow's stops. turn. Not literally, but uh, he needs to do a Constitution Time. saving throw. Yeah. Yes. You guys. Oh, I'm gonna do that thing. Are you sure about that? The cutting words. Go ahead. Wait, what? Go ahead. What was that? Go, go roll. All right. Wait, I'm scared now. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> All right. Halloween. We we're scared the whole time. Oh, that's a nineteen. So, his, wait, how is that even possible? You're rolling a D8. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You're cutting word, right? To like hurt his saving throw? Yes? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a D8. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> you Six. can roll tw you can roll twice, uh, take the higher number. That's all right, uh, all right. Seven. Okay, uh, it brings his one to a minus six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here comes my roll. Wait, does that mean that like he's about to? He extra. He's super failed. He like super failed. Is he gonna heal us? Oh, probably. I roll. <laughs> Ten to your wounds. I take sixteen damage. Sixteen. Yeah, eat shit. Radiant damage. <laughs> All right, yeah, he, the old man has been like weakened and like uh, you guys have like lifted a lot of the shadows and the somber uh, ambiance of the uh, mansion. The mansion is in a creek as heavily as it did before and he seems to have lost a lot of his powers. The smoke is gone. Um, and he, he like, it, it, there's like fear in his like darkened eyes um, and he seems quite hurt, visibly Good. so now. All right. Duck and clan, it's your time. Mm -mm. That was Halloween. just the beginning of his turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, he is going to attack Art again. Oh, yeah. Of course he is. Wait, Art, don't you have cutting words as well? I do. Go ahead, fucking roll. Ah, you can't <laughs> attack me, you dick. Are you are you a Valor Bard? Um, I thought you were a Lore Bard. Are I'm, you a Valor well, Bard? I, ha I have cutting words on my reaction sheet here. Yeah, but their 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 cutting words are different. I just want to know what type of parts you are. I have uh, where is it? I'm a a noble guy. <laughs> you can't attack me. Just roll the roll <laughs> the cutting word. Roll the cutting okay. word. All right, it's a D8. Yeah. You're a bar of lore, the lore bard. I roll a one. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, you brought his natural one to a zero. <laughs> Yes, you know what? It's the it's, it's the the thought. That Is that my fourth or fifth one? <laughs> That's amazing. What is going on? The clearly the game wants us to win. Yeah. What the shit? <sighs> God damn. Okay, yeah, that oh, old man is it. not doing well, and you you guys are doing great. 
Okay, Murder. yeah. Nice, oh, nice insult. Uh, you called him a dick and he <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? <laughs> it was awesome. You, the, the, yeah, the, the confidence is just like shattering his ego. Um, and he touches the wall and he realizes he cannot phase anymore because of the dispel magic. So he's yeah, just stuck it. in here with you guys. Uh huh. Excellent. Which brings it to Duckington's turn. Duckington, fuck him up. We're not stuck in here with you, old man. You're stuck in here with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to attack the shit out of this shitty old man. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. <laughs> and you have advantage on your attack. Good job. Oh, sweet baby. Yeah, uh, people in chat, uh, I, 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 this is new, using this coin system to like give advantage and disadvantage. Um, if you know, like... It's hard to like give advantage on a specific role, but if you know someone's about to do something and you want to give them advantage, you have to kind of do it early, uh, or it's going to go on to the next person. I so. got 24. Nice! Ooh. All right, that hits, definitely. There's two blesses well. now. Now, we used the I used up one of the blesses on uh, one of the cutting words, uh, if you were yeah. wondering about the previous bless. Now this bless is on the attack roll. All right, uh, nine. All right. Whew, he's looking very rough. All right. Can I also stab him with my dagger? <laughs> yes, bonus action, stabby, stabby, daggy. All right, let's see if we hit. Come on, daggery, stab. If you stab with your dagger, you can't uh, inspire, by the way. Uh, 26. 26 hits. <laughs> oh, I fucking hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and let's it do hits. that damage. Five. Okay, very, very good. All right, do you stay there? You're like locking him in position? What else can I do? Can I, can I spit on him? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, I spit on the old man. <laughs> All right, roll for disrespect. Metal. <laughs> All right, Desdemona, it is your turn. Oh my god. I got a 12 on disrespect. <laughs> nice. Um, can I move up close to him? Sure thing. You go within melee? Yeah. We're all, all gonna right. knock him to the ground and just get yep, kicked just in. Start kicking him. This is all feeling a bit clockwork orange at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's great. A bit of the old ultraviolence. <laughs> What's up, Caitlin? Okay, I'm gonna hit him with me dagger. Go ahead. You have advantage on the attack, thanks to Shrub Shadow. Oh hey, two Desdemona! Mm. <laughs> I'm not reading that out loud, Dark Hoblin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw that. Um, 20, not Nat. Yeah, it hits very well. Okay, I got one four. Four damage. Eat it, Four old man. damage. He is on death's door. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got five minutes. Your time, On dash. death's door once again. Oh, I see what you did there. Aha! Ah, oh, ah. Oh, oh. uh -huh. All right. Dash, get in there and fuck him up. That's the end of your turn, uh, Caitlin. You maintain concentration on moonbeams. On his turn, he's going to take yeah. damage. I'm going to murder him on his turn. All right. Haberdash, <laughs> it is your turn. The crossbow is loaded. Click, clack, motherfucker. I'm taking the hood back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, I have a question. On Twitter, it's it's Cole M. F. Howard, yes? Hey, 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 let's uh, let's, let's stop for. the clock. Let's stop the clock if we're going to be talking about no, it. No, no. Does M. F., is that your middle name or does it stand for motherfucker? It stands for motherfucking! It, it depends on who's asking. If my grandma asks, it's metal face. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Do it, Cole. Right. Um, so I have a, I got a, sorry. Uh, mm, 22. Very well, and, it hits. And a 21 with both of my extra attack as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, both crop. hits, roll damage on both. Yeah. Pew, 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 uh, pew. Yeah, so that is a uh, 13 total points. 13 damage as you quick fire two shots in his back above Desdemona's head. They sink in his side and like where, uh, right in his back where his heart would be and he uh, lurches, freezes, crumples forward towards Art and just like reach for him and he just falls on the ground, face first. Yay. As you guys have just absolutely murdered this poor old man. <laughs> Re-murdered. Re-murdered. Oh, um, can I can I piss on his corpse? <laughs> no, ducking <laughs> Just whip your dick out in the middle of the haunted mansion. <laughs> yeah, I've had it with this old man. <laughs> yes, I want to take one of his shoes. 
Yeah, the mansion, I, I, you guys did very, very well. Uh, I, we've been streaming for three hour and a half, but in game only because of the intro and the, uh, the, the, the crash we had in the middle, you guys killed him right before the three in game hour mark. So he didn't go into his final form. Yes. yes. Yeah. So you guys what was did... the final form going to be? Oh, he, he was just going to regain his up. smoke and he gets a damage bonus and like, he actually starts uh, a dip. Well, the, the, depending on like if you guys had started running away from him and like not. Uh, um, he was kind of like early in his final form because of all the noise and the that you yeah. like started attacking him because he was going to slowly start walking towards uh, art wherever art was and that's oh. the three hour mark that he goes full hunter mode but he ah. kind of was already full hunter mode so yeah i don't know how that happened this is weird yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like... guys did so good on the the little puzzles the puzzles where yeah, did, so where did puzzle games. solvents so there that was three the... more that you guys didn't do three more wow hey yeah, we still look. got we still got three minutes <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, speedrun strat. Technically, we've I've been we've been streaming for three hours and a half, so yeah. Oh, and and awesome. you can, now you have all the time in the world to yeah, because uh, we murdered him. Yeah, exactly to finish that. So so we um, get all the traits. Yeah, uh, there was nine ghosts in the house, uh, so that means that he had like uh, nineteen AC, and he. Um, well, his ACO actor was, like, was like the threat level plus two. Well, from 10, threat level plus two. From 12, I guess. Um, and his uh, like attack uh, bonus was plus nine. And his he rolled nine D8 plus nine when he would attack. So if you had if you had met him at like without doing any of the puzzles, he could almost one shot you. Um, so he would like kill you instantly. Um, oh my gosh. But you had weakened him and weakened him before meeting him. So he was rolling because he had th he had three ghosts that you guys hadn't uh, freed. So he was rolling three d eight plus three. Whoa! Uh, yeah, his AC was fifteen. Sharp shadow. That was awesome. <laughs> He's yeah. just blessing now. Oh, Domo says y'all are a really wholesome party. By the way, I've seen a lot Aww. of really uh... except for except for what I wanted to do at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this yeah. one is always a good time. Thank you, Domo. Thank you, I hope Domo. all of you thanks, Domo. Had a great time. That was Thank so you for fun. joining us. If I can actually, so that was so fun. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. awesome. I, if I could show you guys the mansion. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sure. Please. Um, okay, so uh, on the balcony there was. Oh, I was, I was gonna say we we can talk about how we're gonna how we're gonna style it up because it's our house now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, on the balcony Wait. there was a uh, there was a dancer. Um, who um, essentially like I was going to describe her as like she's just like looking around nervously for her partner that had like because uh, she died here a lot of the people that were here were either killed by the owner of the house or they were abused by the uh, owner of the house and their presence was like fueling his hatred that was like the the main uh, mm -hmm. exposition or the reason for his power as they were all stuck here and she was stuck here looking for a dance partner so, so it was going to be Exactly. If you had the balls to go dance with her and do a yeah. good enough uh, performance check, she would have. Oh, it would have brought her fire. peace, and she would That's have left. So much performance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here there was a cleric uh, of Lythander um, who came because he had heard the rumors that uh, the woman of the house was pregnant. Um, so he came to like bless the child and assist in the uh, uh, giving birth to the you know his his doctor skills uh mm -hmm. but somehow uh didn't quite make it far enough and was killed uh before that so he, it was it would have to and his corpse was desecrated um, so he Ooh. couldn't return to the afterlife um so he's some doctor the <laughs> was the puzzle was, was the... to be to bring his body back together what was was the girl in the cage the baby that was born yes oh Yes, it was. And the final one was uh, the servants' quarters uh, on the end here. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, spooky so mist. This well, it, we, you would have to have do an interaction and talk with the servants and try to either convince them, deceive them, or intimidate them out of leaving. I'm so good at all those. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was the three uh, last uh, little puzzles. But now you, I'm I'm surprised you guys uh, killed. What's him. in that uh, that one room behind the master bedroom? So there is a few. There was. I'm actually surprised that you like found this one. But there is a grand total. 
Wait, are, can you guys see this? Yes, you can. Um, yeah. Of there was actually a lot of hidden pass uh, passageways. So here, if I can just delete this, there is, and I can turn my flashlight on. There is a secret door here, or also it could be accessed through this locked door. And here is just treasure. So I would have given you guys like bonus gold. Uh, nice. And here, it seems this like a room here has like no entrance. There is a hidden passageway here. Uh, whoop. And again, this is more treasure. So this is essentially like, as you're like going, it's also a way to make the house loop on itself. Yeah. I see hey, that. thank you. Uh, oh, Black Rabbit is hosting. Thank you very much. Um, it's to make it so the uh, house loops always on itself because I didn't want you guys to end up stuck in any dead ends. I was going to say trapped in a, in a corner yeah. where we couldn't so escape. No matter where you are in the house, you, you can always run away from the... So we literally could have done a Scooby-Doo like... Zoinks! It could have been stealthy the entire way. Like, yeah. let's get out of here, dude! I didn't know how, like, murder hobo you guys were going to be or how, like... <laughs> so I, I kind of planned for a, a lot of things. But yeah, this is... This is the mansion. This is the second floor. This is awesome. so awesome. awesome. Thank oh you very God. much for playing. That was great. If we make that into a separate suite, we could rent that out for... We could rent that out. <laughs> That'd be great. That's true. We can Airbnb the shit out of that. Yeah, we'll get so a separate much. bathroom. Maybe God, a little kitchenette. Special. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that turn was one amazing. Turn one of those treasure rooms into a, you know, a second bathroom. Oh, great idea. Someone can sleep in the cellar. It's fine. Yeah, yeah we'll get that body out of there. Someone no, asked for a, a zoom out, it's so there you go. Look oh, at that. that. Hey, oh, look at those trees. Look at those oh, trees. It's a great location. How close is it to a school? Very far. <laughs> it's very isolated. Ah, okay. So okay. we are going to need a couple of cars. That was so fun. Okay, first I need to... Awesome, right? Redo the shout outs. Uh, check out Kate, Caitlin. Check out her stream. Um, follow her on, on Twitch. Follow her on Twitter so you can know, you know when she goes live. Um, also, Bill also stream. Uh, check him out. Um, yeah, Mild Bill Gamer. Also yeah, yeah. on Twitch and also on Twitter. Uh, thank you, Cole, and thank you, Ian, also for joining oh. us this fine evening. Thank you, but thank you everyone, <laughs> for being here and following and supporting. Thank you for like Thanks, Jason. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, amazing DM and our amazing Thanks, chat. Help us play. All right. There it is. Great. Thanks, guys, for joining. Yeah. Have awesome. a good night. Have a good Thanks, evening. Remy. Thank, thank you, Remy. You so much, everyone. Remy, thank you so much. Chat, thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, Have a happy Halloween, everybody. Love you. Happy Halloween. Love you all. Goodbye Ooh. and good night. Have a confident Halloween. <laughs> <laughs>